Hello there. Hello there, indeed. How are we all doing, peeps? Saturday afternoon. Feels, uh, I've, I've, had, I've had quite a busy day, actually. I've just thought I woke up quite early this morning, about half seven. I thought, do you know what? I've got loads to do. I've got family coming over tomorrow. So I thought I'd better get things tidied up. I've had two weeks of kind of doing what I want, when I want, how I want. And that was all over. Back to work on Monday after a two-week break. It's been amazing. It really has, folks. I've even actually picked up a bit of a tan. Can't really see it, but it is there, I promise you. Uh, maybe I should have wore a white shirt. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, it's Saturday. And it's really... I, I love doing a Saturday. Five till seven. It's quite nice. Got my homemade burgers to eat just after the stream. Can't wait for that. It's going to be lovely stuff. It really is. Um, and it's just a really nice kind of vibe to stream on a saturday it really is um but anyway let me uh let, let me give you a few house rules oh, house rules it sounds boring doesn't it when you say it like that but anyway look folks if you want to support the channel please by all means do so there's two different ways of doing it we've got super chats and of course we've got the good old if you want to if you fancy it and it's growing every every week amazingly it's, it's, it's i love it i really do especially on the discord server that's kind of one of the nicest parts of it uh join the membership the lbb family and you become a kind of a slightly more immersed bigger part of it uh i love doing that i really do and something else i, I need you guys to do as well i don't believe i've put a link down in below i may have actually um i don't think i did maybe i'll put it up just at the end of the stream uh this here i've got a i've got a giveaway i'm going and all you got to do to enter it is just go back to the stream where i built the aston martin and i built that earlier on this week so it wasn't london calling yesterday i think it was wednesday i streamed it maybe even tuesday I can't remember. uh so when you're on holiday you kind of lose track of days you really do but anyway uh i'm going to draw this next friday so i think that's the 5th of august and someone out there will win this set doesn't matter where you are in the world folks just look it up it's, if you go back to my main page you'll find it there or if there's any mods out there who wants to put the link in the chat for me uh, you're more than welcome to, folks. And you, no matter where you are in the world, I can send you this. And this is this, this kind of gift we purchased. Pretty cool one. Uh, I thought, you know what? It kind of, it's a nice one to give away because I've had such a cool year on LEGO. I really have on, on my channel anyway. Uh, and i got some really cool stuff coming up. This month is going to be amazing. And I tell you what, it already has been as well. Um, and I thought, well, you know what? We're getting a new castle this month or next month. I know you look at these things. And we've got the Galaxy Explorer as well. So I thought, you know what? Let's give it away. Let's give it away to someone who's going to really appreciate this. And the nice thing about this, especially if you're a collector, is you get this. You get the 60th anniversary of uh, the Lego brick special tile, printed tile. That, for me, is the main event when it comes to this. So there we go. See? Um, but yeah, that's just the way it goes. And there we are. So I've been a super busy beat. I really have been um but that's because uh <laughs> it's just been a bit how can i put it i've done so much diy so the first week i was away on holiday and this week i've just been doing loads and loads of diy it looks amazing i'm really chuffed with how things have worked out but all my spare time has been spent doing streams that's it that's my spare time uh that's how i kind of choose to spend my time and of course the little build up to it as well because you could these things don't just come together you kind of just you, you kind of put it put it together and do a load of prep work you really do whether that be reels promos all that lovely kind of stuff so anyway enough about that and my shenanigans you're here today to see me complete the finale of the um of the lego 2022 train station and there it is there this is what I'm going to be building today on this stream. We kind of already, I've done a big chunk of it already. Really cool build this is, folks. Uh, we've got this here. Baza, are you watching? Are you prepared? Uh, this here is the uh, Portaloo, uh, which I built, which i got to be honest, folks. It's actually a phenomenal build. It really is. I mean, it's ridiculous. Look, you've even got, got a little, little poo down there as well. Uh, they do like that old Lego. That is their thing. It really is. Well, there you go, you see. So there's that. That's a, that's obviously a, a, a trailer, and that is a trailer to this, which is a very cool set. And if you've seen my reel today on Instagram, you would have seen the train pushing it around. Now, the idea today is as well, is that I'm not just going to build it and then that's it. I'm actually going to have it running with the train. So over here, so that might just pick it up. Yeah, there you go. If I swap it out, whoop, there you go. Uh, you can see over there, 
that uh, I got the train primed. And then eventually, we'll have a station there on the left-hand side of it all. Hopefully it fits. Who knows? We'll find out when I come to do it. The other thing I built, and this for me is awesome. It really is because it's a perfect scale and everything, is this bus. How good does that look? That is a cool looking bus, isn't it? It really is. I need to make make some more of these. I think I'm going to build these out of red. Seeing it's uh, London. London Bridge Bricks, of course, but it is for my city, Legondon. Now, the other thing I've got I got this week for Legondon, and I've built, I've bought, I basically bought all my August stuff. Well, actually, I'm saying that. I'm going to go to the Dublin reopening, or the, the, the London reopening of the store folk and i'm going to dublin as well so i'm gonna be buying some sets over there nothing too crazy just enough to keep getting me those gift with purchases i managed to pick this up a couple of days ago as well the sanctum santorum i don't think i'm gonna live stream that but i'm gonna do maybe a new format for me a new format of doing reviews uh, i've been talking about it with uh, my, my close friends in the community for weeks i have it's probably about time that i did one i can't think how i'm gonna build this or when I'm going to build it. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to enjoy building it. I might record a little bit of it. And uh, and then I thought, you know what? I'm just, I'll, I'll do a review of it of some sort. So anyway, watch out for that in the next week or so. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's uh, what else should I mention? I'll tell you what I mentioned as well. Do you know what? Do you, if you're kind enough, give us a thumbs up. I'm quite pretty chilled out on a Saturday, to be honest. But it would be nice on a Saturday if I did manage to actually get up to 50 likes. That would be quite nice. That's a kind of a... A nice easy score to go for hopefully anyway uh the other thing is, is i've got a survey running too uh nothing too heavy folks it's just asking the question would you like to see lego make more train orientated sets so it doesn't have to be a train set but it could be stuff for trains you know like um you know lighting or um uh, you know crossings and stuff like that little, little things you know when you get hornby if anyone's ever looked at hornby they all come with these like little packs and stuff like that that you can buy that kind of build upon uh, your cities and stuff like that and that's the sort of thing i just wish they would do more or something like that or even one of those sort of side buildings uh or, or maybe uh one of, one of those kind of uh yards where the trains go and get parked up at night and stuff like that and they get cleaned up i don't know just stuff do you know what i mean i just wish they did a little bit more or i just wish that lego would give a little bit more love to all things trains so anyway let's have a look through and let's see how many of you lovely people are out there today there's loads of you which is really nice to see by the way folks because it's, it's an odd time of day it really is but i don't mind it's a nice time of day it really is we've got buzzer out there as well we're saying he's going watch out first we've also got the london predator angler out there hmm strange you never see those two people in the same place at the same time we're saying watch out second uh we've got Oldendorf out there as well so i want to see lego steam train like thomas the tank engine uh you, you're watching the wrong stream for that one i'm afraid mate uh we've got anna rays out there saying hola everybody good to see you anna hope uh well yeah i hope you enjoyed the stream last night on london calling 130 uh we've got john's bricks out there as well hey hey Hall. nice saturday afternoon stream it certainly is is it this is why it's a little bit more chilled out as the same watch you greg uh Oldendorf giving out loads of love to everybody we've got the minifig who out there hey guys how you doing how's your uh how's your saturday going everybody just tell me how is your saturday going anyway you had a good one so far uh what else we've got going on there uh, we've got the minifig who saying hey anna ray's fooling with bricks don't forget folks uh fooling aka baza he's going to be streaming tomorrow i believe baza am i correct in saying it's 5 30 you're going to be streaming from uh that is of course 12 30 est usa time faith and misery is out there as well say good afternoon good afternoon to you too sir great to have you here moments of magic howdy all great to see you who's that we've got brick and brew good day everyone good day to you too sir hope you've had a marvelous saturday i really do uh well, spooning says rules rules there is only one rule there is no rules <laughs> i like it echo bricks is out there as well he's, he's giving it some large uh with the cyclic waves and stuff like that uh, and that's what you get if you join, by the way, folks. You get all these kind of quirky little sick figs, uh, sick fig kind of emojis and everything like that. I might even do some more this week, actually. Uh, ooh, old not saying Baz at home, get the Baz a sick fig, sit back backward in there. I don't know what you're talking about there, old Doff. <laughs> you do lose me sometimes. Uh, we've got Aaron out there as well, Brinkhoff, saying, Hey, Echo, hey, Barry. And we've got two humble Brits as well. Lovely to have you all here. It really is. I think that's nearly everybody. Uh, Moments of Magic, Anna, two humble Brits. Aaron, hey, we've got Minark out there. Goes, You will be pleased to hear I am no longer brighter than the sun, and my lighting has sorted itself out, I think. Sorted itself out sounds a very kind of oh, it's going to happen again 
uh, kind of thing. Also, hi, I hope you all watched LC last night and dropped a like indeed. And you know what, folks, if you just tuned in, please do give this stream a like as well. I'm going to have Craig join us uh, a little bit later, folks. Uh, he's just going to sort of come in and just sort of prop me up a little bit. Uh, we've got Not Today Dane. He's new. Hello, mate. How are you doing? He goes, I love Lego Train. Good stuff because you're in the right place. Hope you do too. We've got Sio Connor there. He says, hey, Greg, I'm on my phone, so I can't. I can't at everyone. <laughs> so wherever you are, my friend, I hope all is well. Actually, I need to ask, Sai. So do me a favor. If you're out shopping today, can you do me a favor? Can you take a couple of photos of the uh, Lego Dublin store for me, please? Uh, if you don't mind. Uh, only because um, I kind of want to do some before and after things as well. Uh, yep, he's saying uh, Fooling is streaming tomorrow from 5.30. Uh, he goes, hey, awesome uh, chat friends. Yeah, I hope you're having a nice time, uh, Sai. Um, but yeah, if you are about and you just happen to be in the vicinity, uh, do you mind just getting me a couple of photographs of the store? What it looks like at the moment, all boarded up and stuff. Uh, we've got Aaron Brickenoff saying, uh, me and Ark Sage, uh, you were the shiny beacon in the Lego community. God, he was last night, folks. Blimey, even I was getting a tan off him. Uh, we've got this you out there as well. This you, hello, mate. I don't think he was in, I don't think he was about last night. Uh, good to see you here today, though, mate. It really is. It means a lot of you guys tuning in to me on a, on a Saturday kind of late afternoon. Uh, we've got Chris Dam, you COVID chalice. No, Chris, you haven't got COVID, have you? You got it on, you're on holiday at the moment, aren't you? Um, and we've got this you saying, the mini figure who, hello to you. So anyway, folks, so like I said, I built this on, um, I built this, I built the first part of this on a stream a couple of weeks ago. And do you know what I've done? I've actually just collated it, sort of sectioned it up a little bit. And what I'm going to do in a moment is uh, I can run run that back to you. I can, so I'm just gonna do this. But in the meantime, uh, where I've actually got to on this at the moment is, well, this section here, I've done all the other bags other than these ones, and it's bags five, six, seven, and eight. And that's what I'm gonna be building today. Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's quite, I mean, what I will say, let's have a look at the back, shall we? And this is it, this kind of shows you all the different various components of it so you got the uh, you got the bus over there uh, they're using it's using the new road system as well which let me just grab from here there we go. Uh, it's technically about 12 bags in this set or rather i should say eight bags in this set but there's kind of technically nine i suppose let's have a look at this because what i've got here is, what you get with these is get the ramps to come up and go over the track you get these parts as well and these are quite a bit special and i've never used, never had those before look at those They're like flippers in a funny way but anyway um i've never had these pieces before i don't, I don't know if they, they, these are new elements to this particular set i doubt it i've just never come across this one and i'm loving all the stuff that i'm doing at the moment when it comes to doing trains and anything like that i'm really enjoying it. and that's why i kind of wish that lego would do more and also as well i'm kind of holding out especially for the next uh a fold day maybe i'll do this uh as a survey uh, maybe you know what just let me know as well folks um i want to know right if what you what you guys would would prefer uh let me just change this over here there we go lovely stuff i what i'm genuinely interested to know is is i don't know Maybe for about I don't know the new the new the new Hogwarts Express that's going to be about five hundred pounds five hundred and fifty God it could even be six hundred pounds. What would you rather have Hogwarts Express or ATAT? Give me a H or give me an A for which one you prefer ATAT obviously A Hogwarts Express for H. Um, I'm genuinely interested uh, to know what your preference would be for that. Um, so anyway, so I've got this. Uh, let me pull this over here so you don't have to see that let's pop that down there so you actually see what i'm doing anyway so to get up to this point uh what we've got here we've got anna razor saying get the hogwarts express we've got chris saying get the atat chris have you actually built the atat I'm, I'm i'm interested to know old doff is saying get both <laughs> i could but that'd be a bit greedy wouldn't it um hogwarts express minifig who yeah, there's a lot of love out there we've got shy time is my time out there as well blimey what time is it out there oh actually it's, it's early morning for you lot out there isn't it it's gonna be nine hours differences so yeah it's early enough blimey it must be uh, around seven o'clock out there where you are food is saying atat i do fancy the atat and i'll tell you what folks if you want to see a funny one 
uh a funny reel check out shy time is my time on instagram you'll see a funny reel on there but anyway folks enough enough about that let's see let's get some building done shall we so let me sh give you a quick speed build it's only a couple of minutes long of how i got here now the quality won't be as super slick as it normally is because i've taken it from the last stream that i was doing but anyway keep chatting to yourself uh, i'm just going to get some bricks ready and sorted chat amongst yourselves and uh, i'll even be highlighting you through it but anyway folks enjoy this sit back enjoy the music it's a little bit funky you might even like it oh i keep sinking into your blue into your blue yeah i keep sinking into your blue into your blue stars i keep seeing stars inside your eyes in my mind i'm holding on to all the sparks flying through the dark while we collide that I'm all you ever wanted Take me to a crowded place And I'll know all I see Is the way that you breathe Hit me like a hurricane And I'll know all I need Is your love next to me Oh, I keep sinking Into your blue Into your blue Yeah, I keep sinking Into your blue I love that song. I really do. Uh, thank you for the uh, kind words there, uh, Baz. I say it reminds me of Ibiza. I say I love Ibiza. I really do. Um, just strangely, I've only actually ever been there once. Oh, it was lovely. It really was. It's a beautiful place to go. It really is. It's a beautiful island. And do you know what, folks? It's like two hours away. I can literally get there door to door in three hours. I can. And uh, I just love it. I just completely chill out. It's a beautiful island. And uh, yeah, they do some rocking tunes as well. So anyway, let's uh, get down. Anna Razor's obviously got a dad joke uh, recently, uh, or book of dad jokes, I should say. <laughs> uh, we've got Cat Colors in the house as well, saying, hey, everybody. Uh, she would have just caught the tail end of that speed belt, which is basically, folks, all it was, was basically I just expanded upon the stream from last, uh, from, like the week before last. And uh, and I just thought, yeah, I just use it so people know how I got to this point. Otherwise, if you want to watch part one, check out the description below. You'll find all the details down there. He uh, goes, I love that bus. This bus is really, really cool. And I tell you what, folks, something, let me just show you this a little bit nearer anyway, a little bit closer. So far, these are the minifigs that I've got for it as well. There is actually a maintenance guy uh, as well. Maybe I'll get him out now too. But I love these figures. These figures are really, really cool. Uh, especially this one here. That print on that torso is awesome. It really is. It's as easy as that, folks. It really, really is. Let me show you the one, though, the maintenance guy. Let's get that out here. Because the maintenance guy is quite cool as well. Let's bring him out there. Well, this is a bit of a chilled out track, isn't it, in the background today? There we go. This guy's very yellow. Now, I quite like this yellow from... Um, from lego but 
I think the hat should have been sort of red maybe or something like that. But there you go. You get a good idea of him there. So anyway, let's get them in. So far, so good. For, for the money for £70 so far, do I, what do I reckon? Well, so far, so good. I would say, yeah, we're kind of in the right ballpoint for it. We really are. Um, actually, Kat, I, I, I need to still look. I have to see if you guys have actually reviewed it for this month's uh, Blocks magazine, which has just hit the high street, folks. And... Um, you know what? If you if you ever want to subscribe to Blocks Magazine, uh, check out again in the links below. I've got, a, uh, I've got a discount code with them as well. So check it out, folks. It'll save you 10%, which is always worth it, especially this day and age. We're all trying to save some money, aren't we? We've got Jake out there as well saying hi. Uh, is this good evening, Nicole? Lady with Brick. I suppose it is good evening. Nicole, lovely to see you. Uh, all the way from Germany, of course. Um, tomorrow, Germany versus England. Was it England, Germany? Because we're kind of on neutral grounds, aren't we? going to be well, actually no it's england germany isn't it? Oh, about it. it's not neutral ground at all i keep thinking like euro championships and stuff like that but of course we're talking england here we're playing at home I wonder who's going to win i don't know i mean i've been playing lego since i was now four now i'm 14 now and i love what you are doing today phenomenal we you in the right place uh Dan? and also as well what i'd like to say is uh not today Dan, is do check out other people that are in that are watching We've got um olden doff has got his own youtube channel cat colors uh she writes for blocks magazine uh nicole you'll find her on instagram even mayo and chris you'll find them on instagram as well i love your name cat colors it's a very cool name it really is got brad rush as well is this a new set I haven't seen this in the states this set this is the weirdest thing this set came out weeks ago um i must have I'm pretty sure I got this set about six weeks ago. It was actually gifted to me uh, from a friend of mine that, uh, called Snap to Grid Bricks who came over from, well, he actually lives in Canada. He's on holiday in Italy. He flew over to uh, Blighty to come and say hello to me. Uh, and we got on like a house on fire. But anyway, he gifted me this set. He said, Greg, whatever you do, do some train stuff. And I said, yeah, all right, I'll do some train stuff. So I did, I did the new train and he got me the station. And this is like part two of that build. So welcome along, Brad. Lovely to have you here, my friend. But yeah, in answer to your question, it comes out in America Monday. Um, for some reason or other, you guys haven't got it yet. So this is why I thought, you know what? I'm going to stream it today. It's almost like getting a August set way before August. It's just the way it works out. And the strange thing is, right, if you go to um, lego.com, folks, and you look up the, uh, the manual for it, the instruction manual, it says no instructions available. Go to lego.co.uk, you've got instructions available for you. So maybe that's a little way of getting around stuff. Sometimes when you want better instructions. I've got some other things from Lego today that came. I was a little bit surprised, but I'll ping out some stuff later on out on Instagram about that. So what have I done so far with this? Well, these, these are all the stickers that I've got left to do. There you go. There's the stickers there. Not too bad. They're all nice, quite big square ones. And all I've really built so far from this is the bike and basically all i've done is just taken the frame folks and put, apply two wheels to it that is it we've got a red seat going on there that doesn't bode well does it being that being that bright by me uh and then we've got uh a kind of trans clear one at the front um, don't worry i'm gonna swap it around anyway uh so you can see the build properly now what i like about this right okay so you've got two things that you can do with this there um uh, here's a here's a here's a question for you. You've got Scott's blocks out there. Uh, when what does Scott say? When it is a jar. When it is a jar. When what's a jar? I've, I've, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of been halfway through the uh, uh, the chat there. I think when it is a jar. That sounds like a pun. Anyway, there you go. There he's on his bike. Now I tell you what I'm going to do though. There's a nice little feature. I'll tell you what. Let's swap it over because you, you don't have to look at me all the time. There we are. Right. Um, and by the way, folks, um, uh, there's me asking the question about the ATAT. -AT. Look, look at this for a top. I've got the ATAT -AT on it. Anyways, uh, what there's a nice feature in this one because uh, this guy actually comes with a decent, decent hairpiece. It's not like Han Solo, but uh, but blonde. There we go. Han Solo was blonde. He may look something like that. Looks good, doesn't it? I like that as well. It's a really nice mold. Um, but with the bike, what you can do is pop it on the back of this. How about that? So on the bus, fresh. <laughs> Love that. Um, you can put this on there. I guess that just sort of goes in there like that. Yeah, there you go. Like that. And it just sits there. That's pretty good, isn't it? It's a nice little touch. I like that. Oh, dad joke number six coming out from, uh, from Anna. She's loving these dad jokes today. Uh, what's this one there? Why do people take 
Why do people take extra socks when golfing? Because uh, they might get a hole in one. Oh dear, that is a really old one, uh, but quite funny at the same time. All right, cool. So let's start building a train station. Right, okay, we've got some great parts with this. I mean, look, I mean, straight away, folks, I'm loving this. Look at this, a one by, was that 12? And then you've got this two by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a two by eight. We've got loads of these. I love a set when it's got loads of those in it, folks. I really do. So anyway, let's get going, shall we? So I've got loads of green in this set. Obviously, there's going to be, especially this color, this color, because that is the color of the new train. Which, by the way, folks, if you hang around later, I'm going to I'm going to install the train station uh, over there, and then we'll just have the train going around and around and around. Um, so it's all ready to, it's all primed, shall we say, to do its thing. All right, here's a little thing. These are one of my favorite pieces. Okay. And you're probably thinking, why on earth is that one of your favorite pieces, Greg? I'll tell you why, right? Because it's one of the pieces that makes up my logo. It really is, folks. Um, let's pop that on there like so. That then flips back on there. That then goes on there like that. Another green piece. One by four. And then got this long slope. Oh, love a long slope. There we do. I love a long slope when I'm when I'm skiing. I don't know about any any other time, to be honest. And do you know what? When I lived in Devon, uh, people used to say to me, well, "Why did you move back? Why did you move from Devon to Essex?" So I used to live in London, and then I moved to uh, Essex. And uh, and before I moved to Essex, I lived in Devon. And to a lot of people, that would be like the place to live. Well, it is kind of as you get a little bit older, but. In all honesty, when I lived there, uh, I used to hang around uh, a place to, called Salkham quite a lot. And you know what? I just got fed up with going, I, when, when you live in Devon, most of the time, right? Most of the time, uh, you're either going uphill or downhill. Like there's no there's no flat. You're either going up or you're going down. And I, I was completely reminded of that fact uh, when I went to Devon last week. I spent a week there. Oh, and it was such good. It was beautiful folks so I had wonderful weather uh the sea was amazing i just had such good times really good vibes and again look on instagram you'll see like a few little videos i did i even built a set dig this folks on the hottest day of the year the hottest day ever in the uk i actually built a lego set on the beach uh and you know what i've, I've done it uh, I, I was even chatting with a load of friends and did a video sort of conference via Discord uh, with some of my members, which was good fun. Uh, and I was just sort of saying to him, how are you doing? You know, you're making sure you're, you're drinking, you know, keeping, uh, you know, keeping your waters down and stuff like that and making sure everybody was OK. And there were. And it was about sort of like half seven at night. So the heat, I mean, it was still really hot, folks. I mean, it was it was about 32 degrees. Uh, and I thought, you know what, I'm just, I, I'm going to do a short. I'm going to I'm going to I wanted to build some Lego. And, I, and it's a beach orientated uh, set that I built. It's, it's, it's a tiny little set. It really is. It's a poly bag, effectively. Right. But I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go and build it. I just wanted to chill out. And I loved it. I totally enjoyed it. I really did. And I videoed it. And do you know what? I'm back to work this week. So maybe, maybe I'll just do it this week. Because a load of people are going to be on holiday as of this week because the schools uh, break out and stuff like that. And oh, it's such a good time. If you're a kid and you've got like five or six weeks off, Man, I missed that amount of time off. I really did. I used to, God, when I think back, I just used to waste that time. What I wouldn't do now to have that amount of time off would be amazing. Really would. But there we go. That is it. So there's some great infrastructure going in here, folks. This is a bit like uh, when uh, the cabin was being built and constructed, putting the, uh, the kind of uh, boards underneath uh, and sort of building the framework up. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Feels almost modular-like. But you can see there's some good bricks going into this let me get this section done and then what i'll do is i'll say hello to a few peeps that have just jumped in because there's quite a few of you watching at the moment we've got 36 watching um we've got 30 thumbs up thank you everybody for that it really does mean a lot um and let's see by the end of this stream which in a couple of hours time let's see if we got ourselves 50 thumbs up um because the nice thing is well you might say oh you guys are always all you streamers you're always saying asking us to uh press um press the thumbs up but it does the it, it, the out it's an algorithm thing folks the all you know people uh give us a thumbs up people out there just know 
that we're actually alive and kicking and doing something. Anyway, this is lovely, this is. Slightly samey at the moment, but that's to be expected, I guess. I mean, are they really? I mean, they get a bit overboard, really. I mean, when you think about it, they're putting tiles underneath here. Two by four tiles down there. But it's nice, though, because it's green. So it kind of gives it, you sort of think it's that sort of luscious grass or something growing underneath the uh, underneath the platform, which, to be honest, when you look at platforms, they, they, there isn't too much going on them uh, underneath them, really. They're kind of quite shells. I mean, a lot of stations I know, they don't even have anything there. You could literally go underneath them. Not that I'd recommend it, of course. Right, now what piece is that, then? That's Will. Oh, it is as well. Oh, brown. I don't know what it is with brown and Lego uh, instructions. I genuinely cannot always make it out. Anyways. And I don't know about where it is where you are, folks, but it's warm today. I mean, it's, tw it's 25, 24. There we go. It's 24 degrees in here at the moment. It is in the cabin. And I've had the door open all day. So it's a warm old day here in London. It really is. And you know what? It's due to rain tomorrow. I can't believe that. I've got family coming over. It's going to be warm, but it's going to be a bit rainy at the same time as well, which, I don't know. We need the rain. We need rain. We really do. I won't say that very often uh, through the years, but we do. And, uh, and the plants need it, I suppose. Again, years ago, it wouldn't really bother me too much, but I've got quite a lot of plants in the garden. I've got a lot of trees in the garden as well. I think I've got about 50 trees in this garden. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see. As long as everybody stays hydrated and safe and stuff like that, because I don't know, planet does seem to be warming up a lot recently. It really does. There we go. So that goes in there like that. Again, nice little bit of framework. Learning some nice bits and pieces here. Look at that. It's nice, isn't it? It's good. I mean, they're all solid Lego parts. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing flimsy about it or anything like that. So then what do we do with these? Again, look, one by eight. Love it. Well, this is a bit 80s, isn't it, this one? I say 80s, this is saxophone. Don't really hear the saxophone too often these days on music. It's, uh, it's quite chilled out, though, so let's keep it on, shall we? Tell me if you think it's too loud as well, by the way, folks. I've got, I've got it up a little bit. Uh, where are we? Another one of those. Yeah, this is almost virgin on Magic FM, this is. Right, Ooh, a couple of clips here. Now, this is interesting. What are these going to be used for? down the line a couple of clips there there we go one by one brick with flip there we go going that way i don't like that way as opposed to that way uh a little grill to go in there i can't see it and it's made of brown obviously i've got brown blindness i have <laughs> all right that one goes in there great looking good loving this another lovely plate i mean look at these plates Nominal six by eight, love it. You know, it's all big stuff, so we kind of absolutely smashing our way through this one. Ooh, there's a little bit more to build here. Now, here we go. Now, these clips, right? We're going to find out what they're actually used for in just a sec. But anyway, let me catch up with you, lovely lot out there, shall I? So, uh, who's jumped in? That I haven't said hello to yet. Like I said, we've got Cat there. We've got Anna Ray's coming out with two and a dozen. Uh, Dad, what's this? Why did the photograph go to prison? It was framed. Oh, that is a bad one. Honestly, these are proper bad, but keep them coming. Uh, Scott's blocks out there saying, hi, this you. I was a little late on the answer. Uh, JC Hustle, how's everyone doing today? Uh, I tell you what, Anna, why don't you, why don't you let other people try and guess what the pun is actually going to be? Just saying. Make it a bit of a game. A bit of gamification. Uh, Minifig Who's still out there. So is Alden Doff. Uh, he's giving out loads of love to Cat. Go quick, go quick. Because this can't stay long because I'm watching the footy. Uh, but I just wanted to show off and say that my Lego bowling alley just arrived in the post much earlier than I expected. Dude, I think mine did as well. Um, I've got a couple of things that have arrived today, folks. Um, what, what, what can I say? They're for the city, folks. They are for the city. Oh. Anyway, that goes 300 quid. So uh, <laughs> that's 300 pounds I wasn't expecting to spend. Uh, but Greg or Craig, lovely to see you, mate. Uh, it really is. Um, did, has anyone else got anything from Bricklink today? That is, of course, Bricklink owned by Lego. Bricklink designer program. 
Uh, let me know if you have, folks. JC Hustle. I'm going to do a, a August the 1st Lego haul as well, folks. I'm going to actually try and get it out for August the 1st. Because like I say, I bought the Aston Martin the other day. I built that. That is a good speed champion, folks. That is a very good speed champion. They've started very, very strong there. Uh, who else we got out there? So Scott's Blocks. Good to see you, dude. Greg or Craig. Uh, he is in the house. Uh, and we've got the East Minarch. Now, always a pleasure to see Greg stream. Uh, I love you too, my friend. I really do. And for you, my friend, you get to see one of my brand new videos for Super Chats. And he goes something like this. Automatic pilot. So, what did you think about that one then, eh? I thought it was slightly risque. I thought, no, I'm going to do it. I love it too much. I've always, always laughed at that one. Uh, it's the most stupidest film in the world, Aeroplane. But I love it. And do you know what, folks? The most risky of parts of that film were actually about the minute before and the minute after. I definitely could put them in. Minark, thank you so much. And that's what you get, folks. That's one of the perks of Super Chats. Uh, it really is. Uh, Snaps Quick is my apologies, Greg. I have you playing in the background, watching the Community Shield. Oh, come on. What's the matter with you, lot? Community Shield, it don't mean nothing. <laughs> I'm only joking. Actually, uh, Snap, you can do us a favor, my friend. Oh, by the way, folks, he's the geezer that I met a few weeks ago. He is the geezer that bought me this set. So thank you, my friend. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I mean, I was giving that so much. What, what did you think of that video then, folks? If you want to see some more, super chat away. Uh, I've got a couple of James Bond ones uh, in my sleeve. And, of course, you've got the regular ones, too. Uh, Gregor Craig says, yeah, I'm excited for the Speed Champion sets. Plus, I want the Vin Diesel minifig uh, for the Lego Garage. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm f I I'm going to I'm just going to say this. And Kat, you never know. Kat might even know something in the background that we don't know. Um, but I would really like to see a Speed Champions Garage. I actually bought, I think I bought, maybe even bought two of them, actually. The uh, the tune-up garage uh, that came out a year ago. I don't even think you can buy it still. Um, but anyway, I bought it um, because I love cars. I really do. In fact, if you, if I pull this round here, come up a little bit. I'm seeing all the mess over there. But see that shelf there, folks? That there is full of cars. There we go. All different cars. You've got the Anglia there, the Ford Anglia. You've got the Countach there. And all sorts of other ones anyway. But there we go. So anyway, here we go. Over here, there we go. See, that looks all right, doesn't it? So, uh, what have we got? So, here we go. We're going to see what all these clips are around. So, what we need, we need some brown one by one by fours, one by fours in there, and I need this because I put it in the wrong place. <laughs> but yeah, do you guys like me streaming on a on a Saturday at five? I I, I really enjoy it. I mean, is it a good time for you guys? It's, you know, I. I I, streaming isn't always about doing it for the for the amount of people that you're going to get um i just kind of i stream folks because um because i really enjoy it god i tell you what right i really can't see brown very well maybe i've got a, a slight case of color blindness when it comes to brown when i say i mean i can see i can see it is brown i just can't see how well it sort of goes together i'd be terrible doing an old lego set i really want well, i'm gonna have to steer clear of them or if I do do them, I'm definitely not going to do them on a live stream. Now that goes on there like that. So this is, I don't know, maybe this is some sort of ramp or something we're making up here. We'll soon find out, that's for sure. Um, and are you liking the music as well? Is it kind of chilled out and vibed? You know, don't want to go over the top. I mean, we just got over the working week normally. There we go. It goes down like that. That's got to be some sort of ramp, isn't it? I think it is. Right, okay. Well, that goes on there like that. So now we're already getting an idea of how big this station construction is going to be. So let's pop that in there. A little bit, oh, blimey, a little bit of flex there. I was going to say, you do get a little bit of flex in this. There we go. How's that? That's quite a decent size, isn't it? That really is. Okay, so we're going to get a few more. I've got to pop that down before it breaks. There we go. This is quite big. I don't know, maybe I should put this on mills. I'll tell you what I will be doing, folks. This over here, the Sanctum Santorum, right? That is going straight onto mills. I've got the mills plates just over there as well. I don't know if anyone spotted them earlier on. Um, but I've, I've made up probably two, four, six, eight mills plates. 
So the city is coming together, folks. But yeah, it's going to be as the year goes on. I'm going to be sort of expanded upon that. But Sanctum Santora, man, Woo! Uh, that was a surprise. I wasn't actually necessarily going to buy that. And do you know what? Uh, I got, like I say, I got, I got some Bricklink designer stuff come through the post, and I thought I shouldn't have got it. <laughs> so what i'm gonna do right because obviously you buy something you want to do something with it you want to do some sort of video with it uh and i'm not gonna go down the uh, down the avenue of just sort of doing a uh i don't know something like a short with it or something like that but what i'll probably do is i, I i've been talking to uh, a couple of my friends a lot about doing reviews because i really like doing reviews but they take up a lot of time and there's a lot of people out there that review them but i've got this kind of different style of wanting to do reviews and um anyway i'm gonna build that i might build it all this week because i'm not streaming this week unless uh you count london london calling uh which of course is a stream um but i'm not gonna be doing any sort of normal streams this week building streams put it that way uh it's my first day or well, my first week back and i'm on call this week as well which kind of sucks absolutely hate being on call but anyway i'll do it because everyone in the team does it uh so this week is gonna be uh sort of bit, uh, not chilling because i'm gonna be back at work but it's gonna be a bit more restful in the evenings because i can spend a couple of hours in the evening um putting that together and that's exactly how my week's gonna go but just so you know folks uh next saturday i'm thinking well, i'm not thinking i probably will do it uh i'm thinking at doing quite a late-ish uh member stream so if anyone who's watching this happens to be a greater or member a greater londoner member um then um i'm gonna be doing a stream uh for you guys just you just all, all the members that are greater londoners and me and they will be piling in into the uh, into the panel as well folks and uh we'll have a good old chat and everything like that and i'm gonna be doing that probably next week between eight and nine i think i'll do that but i'll pop sank out uh in the discord server and on the members tab over the course of the weekend right okay got a couple more of these going in this is really this is a much bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's going to be a proper building. This is this is awesome. Uh, Greg and Craig saying uh, it's all swings and roundabouts to humble bricks. You've got more cash to spend on all the amazing official sets that are coming out. Indeed, indeed. Um, and Cat Colors is saying, "Gosh, all off. They are so unusual, but much, but such a beautiful breed." He's got a retriever. Oh, very nice. Love retrievers. Uh, I really do. I used to have a retriever called Cleo. He used to have another dog as well called Sheba. Uh, can you remind me, Greg, where you got your sorting trays from? I know you have told us before. These sorting trays, I th I'm sure I got them just from Amazon, to be honest. They were really cheap. I've got a load of other ones as well, but they're grey. Uh, I'll show you them a little bit later for the next lot. I've only got these are limited. Uh, but I do like using these, and I do want to get some more of them. I do like them. Um, and I do. It just helps me kind of run through my streams quicker uh blimey my, I, th I think i think my uh my colleague who's just joined has had another haircut uh is that or, or maybe he got, he got some uh, clippers for christmas who knows but anyway he's giving it large he's looking like he's ready uh so let's bring him in shall we he was streaming with me last night he was streaming with me earlier in the week as well he's of course my good friend rick stage pass hello mate hello there you, have you had another haircut yeah yeah hairdresser's here now Oh, very nice. Don't get them come around, blimey. She, you only had a haircut about two weeks ago. I have it, every, every three weeks I have it done. Every three weeks? Looks good, man. Very dapper. I like it. Grows really quick, my hair, so I have to have it cut quite fast. Yeah, yeah. It's very good, mate. I like it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a good cut. Short back and sides. That is literally, folks, a short back and sides. And very nicely done as well. Very good. Very Need good. a beard trim next. Do you? Oh, I love a, you, I say I love a beard trim. I haven't got a beard. But when I used to have a beard... I used to love having a beard trim, but they were more expensive than uh, having um, having a haircut. Those were. Yeah, I do it myself. Oh, do you? Yeah, oh. lay down in front of the council when they're coming around, get it all trimmed. It's nice. Lay down in front of the council. Yeah, uh, the council mower when he's doing the verges. Oh, I see. 
doing the verges i see doing the verges that's a, how, how yorkshire is that when he's doing the verges so anyway how are you mate and how's your saturday it's gone by too fast i don't know what's happened to it yeah i didn't get up too late and i've been busy trying to work out building up this structure for um ninjago city and trying to use as less or as least bricks possible do you want to show us chatting there we go. go. Go and stick it on so we, we can have a look at it because it's a oh, beautiful it's, looking it's building. It's right down there. You can't really see. Oh, is it? So what? Hold on. So just looking over your right shoulder. Are we talking? A, we're not talking about the uh, the gardens, are we? We're talking about what other set was it? Again? No, see, it's the city, the gardens, the docks. All of them are going up and above the tunnel yeah. on sitting on top, so the train can go underneath. Because oh. otherwise, the loop has to go either round Ninjago, which doesn't look very good, or it goes in front of it, which means it's a shorter loop. Yeah. It's okay. just trains in general taking up room, so I'm doing what I did here. Yeah, building on top of it. Yeah, sweet mate. That, that, honestly, it does look really good. It does look really good. In fact, uh, a friend of mine is is, is going to be. Oh, hold on, let's do that. That's better. Ooh, we're kind of whoa, where are we going here? Um, he, he, he said they're going to look at designing me a, a, a London Bridge uh, at Lego as well. So that's going to be kind of exciting. Uh, can't wait for that. In due course. Um, but yeah, so have you been just building all day? Have you been doing any domesticated stuff or anything like that? No, uh, they did start the shopping. They all went out this morning to take grandma up to um, sister-in-law's. Yeah. Left me to do all the shopping stuff. But I've been on Discord building. That's pretty much it. I've just cooked tea <laughs> for them all. Nice. Um, yeah. Yeah. I would. I, I should have just popped on the Discord, but um, I was basically sitting here in, in, in my pajamas and. Uh... I was, I was uh, when he was chatting. He said, "Are you doing any building or anything like that?" And and I was just doing some stuff. And I thought, "Oh, do you know, what? I'm going to make a reel up or something like that." And it's it's amazing. You do a couple of reels, and next thing you know, the day's going. Yeah, uh, but it was good. I had a slight panic. I had to look for the um, uh, oh, what one's that? I'm going to say that's probably that color. Uh, I had to look for the stickers. I was like, because I built this like a couple of weeks ago. I was just like. God, where did I put the stickers? Uh, lucky for me, though, I um, I put them exactly where I thought I'd put them, which is in the instruction manual to keep them nice and flat, because they tend to curl up otherwise, don't they? Yes. The old heat gets to them. Yeah, especially the heat we've been going through for the last what, it's like six weeks, isn't it? We've had continuous sun for six weeks, it is. It's been a warm one. Yeah, it's definitely a phenomenal summer. I mean, last year was rubbish. The summer last year was terrible. This year's summer is just out of this world, but it's getting to the point now where, where we need some rain. Uh, we really do. And uh, I'll tell you what, folks, we've got, we got 35 watching and 35 thumbs up. So if you just popped in, do us a little favour, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to know a little bit more about Craig and what he's all about, check out his details down in the description below. You weren't joking how bad those jerks were, Anna. Fucking heck, that is a dad joke. That's worse than a dad joke. That's a granddad joke. <laughs> yeah, they're pr they're pretty horrific. They really yeah. are. That's, that's up there with cabbage. And that's yeah, I was going to say, do you know what? Cabbage. Cabbage, if you're watching this back, mate, copy and paste some of those jokes. You want to a winner there? Um, oh, phenomenal. Look at that. Look, we've got Brett's Builds out there as well. Hello, Brett's Build. Now, he knows a few things about trains. He really does. Um, he's one of the people back in the day that sort of talked me into purchasing some of them. <laughs> right. Oh, so I've got a building a counter now. There we go. Um, I saw Olden Doss saying about building things with green bricks. No, no, I was doing that earlier. I am now dismantling the June mock because I've decided I don't want to carry on with it. Oh, you don't want to carry on with it? You no. don't, you're done with it now, are you? I'm done. Never got shown. I think since Tech showed that picture of it as something else, it's put me right off it. So, Has it really? i, I got to be honest. I, d I did think that at the time as well. But you, you could say that about anything that looks remotely like that, though, can't you? Yeah, but I mean, I need the, to be fair, I need the plates and the bricks for what I'm doing. I've got too many things on the go, Sam. Oh, okay. I would, so never, you... I would have never have got it finished properly. So. Yeah. Okay, mate. But it was pretty good, though. I mean, people were saying, we're really admiring it and stuff. Yeah, we had the picture, didn't we? Uh, not today, Dwayne is saying, can you see my face in my logo? I think, I think. well, I, I'm, I'm presuming you're the one that isn't the cat, uh, but you got the word not written over it. So uh, there you go. 
but yeah, cool logo, mate. Uh, especially if you get into your cats. One nil Liverpool at half time. Just yeah, saying, it was a good girl as well. Although they let Trent Alexander out of far too much space. Oh, really? Howland looks dangerous, though. Really dangerous. Really mm. cool. Uh, good, good. Same here, Snapchat group bitch, which is why I might have to cut this short after half time. <laughs> what? Um, uh, have you been watching the uh, Lionesses play at all, mate? Yeah, yeah. Watched it as much as I can. And um, what do you? What, what, how does? How does? Now watching sort of men playing, th- does it sort of bring it back out? I don't know. Maybe the men's game needs a bit more of a, you know, less failing or something like that. Fouling. What, what, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I don't know really. They're very different games, and so they should be. I don't think that you can really compare the styles of play as much. I think they're getting it's getting close, but the men's game is still a lot quicker and a lot more physical. Yeah, um, I know they do. They do fall over. They do make a mark mo- challenge. It's just the way that football's gone, unfortunately. Hmm. As soon as anyone breathes, anybody. Yeah, um, I, do, I do think I do think that will that will go that will happen though. Uh, like. I think women's football will go through that phase as well. Yeah. You know, I think the quality of quality of passing from what I've watched of a lot of the, you know, the top international women compared to just the like championship level men is there is incomparable. They're not quite at yeah. that that level of being able to distribute the ball as well. Oh. It'll come as more like I say. It's not that long since they were not even professional, so it just takes takes time. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree, mate. I totally I agree. I don't think it's a gender thing. I think it's just the fact that the, it's been, the men's games had longer oh. to adapt at a professional level. That's it. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. It's, it's evolution. It's as simple as that, isn't it? It's just an evolutionary thing. Uh, right, okay. Let's pop him on the end of that. So there we go. So far, these are all the figures that we've got, folks. And they look pretty good. Oh, God, oh, that's a bad one as well. Crikey. What, well, in the chat? We've got another one in the chat. Yeah. Oh, let's have a look. Let's, let's have a look. Let's find it. Uh, Don't read it out loud, though, for crying out. Oh, okay, okay. It's not position. Oh no, that that is that's pretty. That's that, that, that. Have you got any Star Trek jokes? Have you got, uh, have you got a book for for Christmas or something? My birthday. <laughs> uh, Gregor Craig says, uh, "I think the ladies' games have been very fluid and less stop and starty." Uh, and some of the end of the season men's games, although today's game is good. Yeah, do you know what it is though? I, I, it's um, I'm glad it's different. Actually, I'm glad there is a difference between the two because it kind of gives you something a bit more interesting to kind of uh, watch out for. Really, in all honesty, uh, the atmospheres look a lot better because I think the fans are better behaved. Not just like the hmm. general. You look at the crowd and you look and I know there was the little girl dancing. It was brilliant. Oh yeah, that, that was brilliant. That was love that bit. The general feeling of the crowd is much more how I from yes. a lot of rugby league games it's more like rugby league where everyone's oh, like yeah. happy and enjoying the that. time whereas i've just been watching that one and some liverpool fan had a blooming flare i don't where's this flare stuff started coming from yeah i mean that's just crazy man I, I mean when west ham played uh the frankfurt team last last season oh my god they were, they were, they were the, 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 the whole the whole stadium was glowing because of them it was just like well, even thinking. on the screen, you could see the smirk affecting the camera from, you know, that somebody had a flat. It's like, I know they do it in Italy a lot, but it seems to be creeping over here more and more. And I'm just like, yeah, no, no thanks. Yeah. Put a tax on them. That's what I say. Yeah. Um, but there we go, folks. So this is, uh, this, so this is bag uh, five done. And what a cool car that is. That is a lot of Lego gone into that. So really, really cool. You had to ask for a Star Trek joke as well, didn't you? I wish you'd never said no. Oh, she did. It's not a Star Trek joke. Blimey, let's have Correct a look at this you. one then. I'll oh, have a look at this one. Uh, she kind of taking him out, Captain. Uh, Star Trek edition. If Mr. Spock was pointed ears, what does Mr. Scott have? Oh, get in there. That is good. That is good. I like that one. Uh, and a raise. I'm going to use that one. Blimey, I tell you, the, the, we're going to message Cabby. So get over it quick. There's a, you're missing out on material here. Um, but anyway, folks, anyway, talking of material, I'm going to get some, uh, I'm going to get a, uh, another set of bags. So I'm going to get a uh, bag six now and um, start constructing that. Oh, we've got coffee. I'm oh, building a coffee machine and the first thing I'm building that. So anyway, let's, let's, let's show you a, a moment or so of the first part of the live stream. And if you look really carefully, you might even see Craig and myself doing our thing and building bricks. Oh, I keep sinking into your blue, into your blue. Yeah, I keep sinking into your blue, into your blue. Yeah, I keep sinking into your blue, into your blue. Yeah, I keep sinking into your blue, into your blue. Yeah, I keep sinking into your blue, into your blue. Yeah, I keep sinking into your
into you uh i just wanted to say goodbye to greg or craig as well enjoy the rest of the football my friend and enjoy the rest of your weekend as well uh and a race i've got to get going yeah you probably run out of jokes that's why here's the final dad joke what's another name for a sad cup of coffee depresso uh -huh. <laughs> i like that one and funny enough it's exactly what i'm building now an espresso <laughs> machine can you believe that there we go look cheers big ears i'd love to say that to you uh, i've got a prop i've got a proper cup oh he's got a proper one. Oh, well look. Show, show us that one let's have a look all right all right you're gonna flex we're gonna flex cheers everyone See, that's better cheers mate have a good one there we go cheers big ears love it now, yours ain't got a cappuccino in it though with a question mark uh no mine mine is is is, is, is got nothing in it I, I'll well, be, you I'll know be, you know you, you know if you know you know well if you know you know um why so sad just say, just say uh, that's gonna stay there good stuff right okay here we go anyway thank you for all the dad jokes it's, it's, it, 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 it is a form of entertainment uh i, I I guess, isn't it? That jokes. It's been it's been keeping me entertained, that's for sure. Um, I've got some nice prints in this one. Look at this. Look, I've seen this one before. This is some sort of letter. I think it's an, an email or something. Or it could just be a letter. I'm not really sure. But we'll see the context of it in a minute when I put it together. Um, right, I'm looking for some special parts. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's that. Okay, cool. That's an interesting use of that. I wasn't expecting that. All right, fair enough. Is Nicole not in the chat? Yeah, she's there, saying, yeah, I see it. She's, there she is, she's saying bottoms up. Because um, you might need to explain to her why the platform is higher than the rails. Well, uh, let's have a look at the box. The platform is higher than the rails. Oh, I know why the platform is higher than the rails. Uh, because we have doors on the new 2022 train. Would I be right in saying that? Is yeah, that... I think I think in Germany you have to pay extra for the for a platform to get on the train. T? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Silence. Oh, here comes the next track. Now, should I have these? I, do you know what? I'm going to try and get these on there so that they're kind of together. Uh, I will be right back. Two secs. All right, mate. No worries. Say hello to Steph for me. All right. Here we go. Have them slightly different. I don't, I, you don't want them to be exactly the same, but there we go. And there's that. It's a, it's a smart little coffee machine, that, isn't it? I like that. That's very cool. Anyway, so that goes in here. So I've got to turn this around and pop it about there. There we go. Coffee machine. Oh, I'll tell you what I could do with a nice coffee right now. I do love coffee, honestly, folks. When I was on holiday, I mean, bearing in mind, it's Devon. Do you know what I mean? And the coffee there. I mean, I found a place that did wonderful coffee. Oh, big sticker coming up. Uh, they did wonderful coffee. It's £3.60 a coffee, like a flat white. I was like, blooming heck. And I'm not sure. I must have had about three a day uh, when I was down there. And then you come home and then you have a, you have a bad headache because you, you, you don't have three of these magnificent coffees. Um, but what can I say? I love a coffee. But, I mean, in London, where I go, bearing in mind it's oat coffee as well. It's made of oat milk. Um, that's £3.20. I mean, I'm not joking, but is, it me? is coffee going to be more expensive than beer? Uh, and I never thought that'd be a thing. And I don't even drink. I thought, oh, coffee is the cheaper is the cheaper drink to go for. How wrong am I? Anyway, folks, this is going to go in there, and I'm going to use this. Now, I'm not going to be using uh, my art piece to put this on because it's going on a nice big panel like that, which is lovely. And I'm just going to try. Do I want to, do I want to put it on right on one side or try and put it in the middle? I'm going to put it in the middle. But the thing is, right, the way to line it up is to try and line it up with those studs. So anyway, here we go. I'm going in, folks. That would do nicely, thank you. There we go. How's that? Voila! It's not bad, is it? Then we've got a green line, which is the district line in London. Uh, we've got a sort of red line, which would be the central line in London. That would take you into the city of London. I'm not really sure what's the other one. Oh, the other one's grey. Brilliant. That's the Jubilee line. Now, that does stop at London Bridge Station in the real world. I've got two indie kids out there as well saying, Evening, Greg. Nice to have you. Nice to have you accompanying me. Uh, let's have you covered with me while I cook dinner. Two indie kids. My good friend. How the devil are you? Are you going to be going to the London Festival? I think it's September, people have been telling me, the next one. Are you going to that, my friend? And also, as well, what are you cooking as well? Uh, you look like a sort of guy that would kind of do some quite cool, exotic stuff. Uh, like maybe Moroccan or something like that, you know? Um, I reckon you're a pretty decent cook on the side, my friend. Um, but anyway, I could be completely barking up the wrong tree as well. You might be just doing fish and chips. Who knows? <laughs> Let's know what you eat, mate. Uh, oh, chai lattes are my favourite. Yeah, my wife likes those. Anything chai, she loves. She really does. Chai tea, uh, iced coffee chai is, is is phenomenal. It really is. Um, but yeah, I do love coffee. Uh, hot white chocolate is the only drink I can. I only drink hot. Wow, white that's sweet. Yeah, that must be. And you know what? White chocolate isn't isn't even chocolate really. It, it just kind of tastes like what white chocolate would be like. But there's no such thing as white chocolate, folks. He goes, yes, uh, I'm going to London Brickfest. Was looking at tickets yesterday. Yeah, I'm going to go back there, mate. Uh, it's on a Sunday. Isn't it? They're normally on a Sunday anyway. I'm definitely going to go back. Um, if you do, uh, drop, drop me a line on uh, Instagram, mate. Let me know that you're going. If you're on Instagram, mate, I'm pretty sure you are. Um, otherwise, uh, we've got decaf green tea for me. Oh, I can't do decaf stuff. I just drink water. Um, <clears throat> hot white chocolate isn't that sweet, actually, apparently. Um, I don't know. Every time I've ever had it, it's way sweeter than normal hot chocolate. Oh, okay. Especially it's... if you get it from like somewhere like Starbucks or something. Yeah, oh, yeah, but Starbucks, I mean, dude, their coffee, I mean, they just put sugar and all sorts of stuff in it, they do, to mask the actual flavour. I'm not, I'm not saying Starbucks is bad coffee or anything like that. It's not the best. Um, but... I go to, um, quite often, uh, I go to a place called uh, Monmouth. And, well, it's the best coffee in London, folks. Hands down, it's just the best coffee in London. And, uh, well, that's it, really. I, I, 
like years ago, I, I, all I used to drink was filter coffee. Oh, I was like, geez, I was like, what do people get out of this? Just did not get it at all. Um, and then I went to Monmouth and I was like, oh, hello. Epiphany moment. Penny dropped and everything. It really did. Um, uh, n- not today, Dwayne, or NTD, uh, says it's 1.09 a.m. here. 1.09 a.m.? Molly, where are you? You must be um, You must be going towards... Where would we be? 109 a.m. That's is that Australia. That seems a bit early for Australia to me. Not it's all even. different times in Australia, though. It's huge. Yeah, that is true, actually. I don't know. You could be South Africa. You could be West Coast Australia. Let us know where you're, roughly where you are, my friend. Uh, oh, we've got another sticker to put on. Hey, oh, this is one of the. This is a bad one because this this has got this just goes on there. It doesn't. Oh, this is quite cool. What's this found? Oh my word! Look at this one. Anyone out there who's cat lovers? Where the um, Half asleep, Chris on uh, last week. That was a fun stream. Blimey, um, I think that I think that stream. I, th- I think it's it's just it's just petering out now of of puff, and uh, it's something like 12,000 12. views on that. It's not bad for a live stream, is it, Craig? Not bad at all. Yeah, it's all right, though. There we go. That's a pretty good one, isn't it? Found is a, a picture of a cat, and it's being found. Uh, very cool. Very cool indeed. One's how do you want to go to Pizza Express? Oh, can you get me a meat fest if you're going? Bless you. I don't really know. <laughs> well, it's up to you to decide. It's your birthday tomorrow. Yes, it's Naomi's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday tomorrow, Naomi. Where are you? You don't even shop. Yeah. Yeah. Naomi. Hello. Beautiful little Naomi. How you doing, Naomi? Good. Are you looking forward to your birthday tomorrow? Yeah. Oh. You've been out for like birthday lunch with grandma today, so that was yeah. good, wasn't it? Yeah, oh. I opened some presents. Got like. a jewelry box, which was nice. Yeah, oh, and this so dress. Cool. And a new dress, yeah. Beautiful I dress. Beautiful dress. Don't she look at She's showing me and Craig up, that's for sure, everyone. She really it's not is. hard. No, it's not really. Uh, <laughs> I barely got anything on. Uh, but yeah, so Naomi, Naomi, uh, did, did, you have, uh, did, did you have fun when you was out and about today? Yeah. Cool. Although and did you... it was a very long drive. It was a very long drive. Okay. Was your... that far? It was an hour. An hour. Oh, so oh, long. oh an hour. It's an hour of my life. Some um, people have like... to take some an hour to get to work. Yeah. Yeah. Years ago, we didn't even have iPads or, or, or phones to watch things on or anything like that. Yeah. Um, t- Naomi, tell me, right? Have you had a Have you had a hair like a birthday haircut today? Um, yeah. Yeah, you had a trim. There you go. It's not very nice. It's very nice indeed. Um, was it was it one of those ones where like they come round and they, they do all the family and then they get the dog clippers out and they they do your dog and stuff like that, Craig? Is it? I wish somebody needs to cook him, don't they? Oh so, yeah, his he has a giant mane. Now. He's got a giant mane. If it was the same wow. color as my hair, he'd be, it'd look like a lion. So I cut my finger in it when doing his nails last week. Oh yeah. Oh, oh there's a message there from your uncle. Oh look, by the who's way. that? Scar. Uncle Scar. Uncle Scar. Oh, oh that's this so cute. <laughs> I'm going to see him on Tuesday. You're excited, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, he's going to come over. Is he going to be on? Does it mean he's going to be on London Calling next week then? Yeah, yeah, be in the background of London Calling, yeah. Wicked Probably London Calling 131. It, it's got like a golden ticket. Okay, you'll there, be there too. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I tell you who else is going to be on London Calling next week? This young lady as well. Can't, Can't be there. She's going to be back next week. She's going to be nuts, isn't it? Nicole will be there as well. Um, and Cat Color says, Half Chris Sleep has some interesting fans. He sure does. There's lots of them as well who, who, who love cats. I'm, I'm pretty certain mo- most of his fans like cats more than they like Lego. Uh, but, but, but it's probably, I bet it's about 60 40%. I really do. Um, but yeah, there we go. And um, Oldenoff says, uh, Hello there, Naomi. Please keep playing. With your father's Lego collection, that's uh, my. Oh yeah, she will. Oh, I will. Uh, we've got Echo Bricks as well, saying no, uh, with a sick, sick, big wave, and happy birthday for tomorrow from Echo Bricks. Oh. Okay, Steve. Um, and Cat, thanks. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Nine tomorrow. Where nine. did the time go? Oh my God, nine. I know. I know this. God, nine and years still old. Need to decide when, what time would you rather go for, tea or lunch? 
Maybe Oops. we should decide in the chat. <laughs> do you want to go? For, do you want to go for lunch? Mm. Or would you rather go later? Maybe. Lunch. We might need a trip to Smith's Toys because we might have to go and get something from Uncle Scott when he gets here. Yeah. Oh, he can't get something he can't get in my go over there that he needs us to get. What's that? What's that? Or should you want to tell us on Friday? The Mandalorian Forge. Oh, okay. That yeah, was talking about Lego and, and Lego, Lego shops. shops. And I'll go birthday shopping. Huh? And I'll go birthday shopping. You'll go birthday shopping, yeah. Um, You've got grandma's money to spend. Other grandma. <laughs> um, oh, that's so cool. Wait, what time are we going to... Should we go to Smith? I don't know. It's your birthday. I don't make the rules. I just do as I'm told. Uh, they were pizza and okay. I, I was I was wondering where Barry was going with that then, but he, he was a mis misspelling. He put lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Barry wants you to go for lunch so that we're back in time for Barry's stream. That's why. Oh, see, I, I wasn't too far away. He's from the Philippines. He's from the Philippines. Oh, so he's he, he's in the area between South Africa and, and Australia. Oh, there we go. I'd be. I'd love to go to the Philippines. No, I, I'd really like to go there. Enough time for you to go to lunch and then go after lunch to Smith Toys. You've got the choice. Oh, yeah. The lunch will go. The boy is very good, actually, we'll go folks. Because Barry wants me to. Yeah. I used to go quite regularly to the Savoy. Because um, I used to be... I, I'm... Um, I belong to the... Char I, I kind of like chartered IT peeps. And uh, their office was at Southampton Street, which was dead opposite the Savoy. They just used to pop in there and um, uh, grab like a dessert or something like that. I took my mum there for afternoon tea once. It was lovely. It really was. There's no Savoy near us. Yeah, so you'll be going there, will you? <laughs> He's going, thank God. No, like, I did say you could go where you want, and you picked it, didn't you? You like your pasta, don't you? Oh, yes, I do. do you? Yeah. I had pasta last night, actually. It was very nice. Whereas if you ask Connor what he wants to do for his birthday, too, he goes, get McDonald's. McDonald's. The Golden Arches, eh? Where would we be without it? You can... Actually, when I worked in Hong Kong, I used to go to uh, McDonald's every morning. For if you go what? for lunch, you can milk your dad for afters. What's that? You can milk your dad for afters? Blimey. He's mom's not a cake. Yeah, he's, yeah. Not, he's not a cow, Barry. <laughs> I think I think mum's paying for lunch anyway. Yeah, probably. Yeah, How did you swing dad, that one? Gotta make sure. Because she earns more than me, that's why. Oh, oh why me? <laughs> <laughs> Barry, I've already milked my dad too much. I spent most of his money. What? <laughs> <laughs> I've said too much. <laughs> you have said too much. Oh, Don't tell mum because she's going to be getting mad that you haven't decided. That's what, what you have daughters for, though, isn't it? That's what we... I'll say that's what we have. I've got any kids. Uh, oh, God, she'll be back. My um, one of my nieces got married a couple of weeks ago. Oh, it's a phenomenal wedding! It was it was really good fun. Uh, you were all suited and booted. I was. I was all suited and booted for it. I was the MC for the day as well. That was good fun. Um, it was just brilliant. It was lovely day. And it, again, it was a hot day. It, it's just been it's been a hot day now for six weeks. I mean, it's got to be like two months. I don't, I don't know, it's crazy. It feels like two months. Yeah, it, it's it, it's not far off though, mate. I don't think it's far off. <laughs> I tell you what, right? This Lego set is awesome. This is there's a lot of big parts in this Lego set. It's very good. Um, oh, I think we're, let's get some music back on again, shall we? Um, action. So, what bag are you on? Uh, I am on bag uh, six there's, of. Uh, there's just a couple more to go after this. Oh, that's interesting. Where's that gone? Did you build the bus on the last one? I did, yeah. Nah, I don't remember the bus. Oh, it goes that way. Oh, the bus is re was really good, mate. The bus was awesome. Look, there it is there. But I, I modified it again today because we put the bike we put the bike on the uh, behind it. Nice. That that is a wicked. I, I tell you what, folks. I am genuinely interested in buying another one of these sets, and. Seeing someone on Rebickable has done more to it. This this is a really good set and it's totally worth the money. And I like the way you want someone else to have done it. 
Oh yeah, I don't. I, let, let someone else uh, come up with the with, with the uh, with the clever. You'll, well, you know what happen now. Nicole's going to go and buy another one so she can modulize yeah. it. She can modulize it, and I'll uh, I'll take yeah. some copies off that. Yeah, hey, we have got Trevor out there as well. Trevor, hey. how has it been then? Are you, what two weeks in now? Shh. I think actually, what's today? Saturday. You, you should. You should be on uh, YouTube. Um, he'll, he'll have sold out. He's been going that good at Trevor's shop. I've heard. Yeah, I, I know. He said he said he genuinely needed to get more stock. Um, check him out, folks. Check him out. Uh, he check him out on Instagram. He's just opened up a new Lego store up in Lincolnshire, and um, I think even the likes of Aldendorf have been there to see him as well. But I, I've, I've told Trevor what sets to look out for me for because I'd like to get the caterum um, and one or two other th ones as well. I think the, the Ferrari F40, oh, it's got a sticker to go on that one. I wouldn't mind getting that one day. Ferrari. Yeah, Ferrari. I think that one's quite expensive, but I think they, I, I'd like to get the caterum mm -hmm. for sure. And don't forget the LBB code at Trevor's shop. Yes, that's true. Actually, for pre love sets, folks, LBB Lego will get you 10% off. But yeah, check him out, folks. He's, he's a good lad. He really is. Uh, right, doing the, the ticket office. Ooh. I am going to start. I think I will. Maybe I might do one or two this year. But I would like to do some sort of things where um, I take I take a set and I improve it. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people seem to just do different stuff like that. And I bit of modding. Like bit of modding. Yeah. I mean, that's what um, Tommy Seabricks does with his stuff. I think Cabbage might be, his alter ego might be Anna because she's gone and he's turned up with the. Okay, uh, Cabbage is there. There we go. Cabbage. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. In Bainbridge. Sorry, our chat's a bit ahead. I, I love you reading the chat over my shoulder, not. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually reading the chat now, so it's. Come on, uh, Come Aldorf, selling, uh, selling play sets minute. to make room for more UCSs. Ooh, what UCSs are you getting in, uh, Trevor? What, what delightful UCS sets are you getting in? Um, so I, I, I got a question, actually, for um, for the chat. Right? Um, and actually, uh, you, and you can, I'd like you to answer this as well, Craig, because, you, you know, you're a man of, you know, reason, you're, you're a reasonable guy. Uh, you are. What, um, seeing as the, the, the Star Destroyer is uh, may or may not be back. retiring this year. Bye, Naomi. <laughs> um, I'm just saying that, Naomi, in case you're not back. <laughs> uh, is, it, is it worth getting the Star Destroyer or should I just leave it? Because I've got nowhere to put it anyway, in all truth. You're about asking me because I'm not a fan of the Star Destroyer, so I would never get one. I don't oh, know why, okay. even though it's obviously very iconic. Mm. Um, and I and I know it's a big grey, most Star Wars sets are a big grey wedge, but it just, just doesn't do anything for me. I know a lot of people like building it. So unless you're really into the Star Destroyer, if you're into the Star Destroyer, then yeah. No, I can't say I am really. Yeah, um, it's, it's, I don't have the same thing for it as the Falcon or the um, at, -AT. I see. I see. Yeah, the uh it is a lot of money, but then when it retires, you'd be like, Oh no, we should put it. I suppose it depends if you're collecting them as well, but yeah. yeah. I've like I said, I've got nowhere to put it. Yeah, I'm the same really, so that's probably why. The only reason I'd buy it is if I bought it and then sell it in a few years' time or something like that. Yeah, that's a lot. We were talking about that whole hassle that is selling stuff. The intention's good, mm. but then you've got to actually go through it's a it. big box, it's a massive box, like yeah. it'd be ridiculously brought, expensive to post. My friend. You brought your elephant, yeah, but you had gone. I got this for my birthday. I know. You had gone. That was a subtle hint, wasn't it, folks? Yes, but you had gone, hadn't you? My dad wasn't my dad doesn't want me here. No, it's just I want you to go and help your mum with tea, not annoy me. Uh, and what's tea? Is that dinner up, up north? Is it? Is, it, is yeah. that what we call dinner? Okay. Evening meal. Evening meal, yeah. One. All right. It's Naomi's birthday tomorrow. She can't she cannot do any wrong, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah. she's too excited. She is excited, actually. I, I still get really excited for Christmas, folks. I can't believe it, right? I am starting to see Christmas things happening as well, by the way, folks. What's what? that all about? Yeah, I am, honestly. TikTok. Um, 
Yeah, TikTok's, I mean, not that I watch it, my, my wife does, but it's like, why is this so much Christmas stuff going on on TikTok at the moment? Like, hello. But have you Just noticed one. how much the knights are drawing in now? Uh, not as, not particularly. Not you, don't get, to, you don't get the hours very much, but <laughs> you've got loads of light here, natural light. It's okay. like having Mark in the oh god other room. He, I, I'm gonna have to put a picture of him up on um, on in, like on Instagram just just so he can see how. Do you know what it was like? You know when you get the, those reels and those TikToks where you have got people, but you've just got their eyes and their and their mouth moving on some inanimate object or something like that. Uh, it, it was like it was like that, wasn't it, last night? It, it was like somebody had it right. He thought he was starring in Cocoon Three. <laughs> cocoon free there's so few people going to know what you're talking about there. yeah if you haven't watched cocoon they need to watch cocoon and then they'd get it cocoon cocoon if i come to too soon for you oh, name that album and what's that trevor saying am i now considered a northern what in lincoln <laughs> lincoln's not the north lincoln's midlands isn't it I, mean, I can get yeah, to Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire. It's not Midlands, but it's not. It's not exactly. And they keep putting their stuff on our news, thinking that the North, like it's. Yeah. Nah, you, that side of the Umber Estuary, so it don't count. You've got to live there for twenty years yet, mate, as well to be mm -hmm. to uh, to be accepted. Although knowing what I know about Trevor in terms of his um, skill set of wanting to sit around on the couch all day, drinking Fosters, um. Simple life, simple pleasures. It's definitely more northern than southern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a very northern thing. Us southerners, we've, we, we, hard yeah. workers. Barry, we're <laughs> just letting you go on learn. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, we've got House Studs Will Travel out there as well. Hello, mate. Good to see you. Uh, no, Star Destroyer is a large dust collecting hunk of grey bricks. Fair enough. Um, I, I, Two I every modulus since the town hall. Wow, and can't find the energy. Yeah, that's the thing in it. You get the best intentions to invest, and then you think to yourself, "Oh, what a hassle this is." Yeah. Oh, he's bought the Creator Expert DB5. Yeah, I've got that to build. I might build that actually. On, I can't. I, I got. I got to. I'm gonna. I, I'm just gonna ask everyone out there at some point in the next week or two which one they want me to build. Uh, so me and Hive are going to be doing a. Uh, a double whammy transatlantic live stream uh, in the next, uh, well, big near the end of the month now, uh, two or three weeks maybe. And uh, I've got I got most of the Creator Expert cards to build yet, folks. And um, I'm thinking, right, of doing the two that I really, really am eager to do is either the Creator Expert james bond car db5 or shall i do oh, actually there's ecto one as well could do that or shall i do the porsche i really want to do that porsche because that's my dream car so see i think you should do the db5 because on a, on a trans atlantic stream and you're building an iconic british car from a yeah he should build a Chevrolet, shoot, really, shouldn't he, or something like that? Like, yeah, the Camaro or the Mustang, he should build, shouldn't he? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Actually, yeah, All right, I'll do that then. I, I, I need to I let, need the, to let the chat vote as well. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I'm going to do. I'll, I'll put it out on the community board in the next in next week or so, or something like that, and I'll just let people decide what they want me to build. It's easy that way. Um, I'm happy either way. I'm blessed that I've even got them, to be honest. Uh, we've got uh, Ian Brickbot out there as well. Say, so, evening. Has he got his chickens yet? Uh, did they come today? Uh, he was supposed to be coming today. All right. Ian, how's that going? How's the chickens going? Have you cooped them up yet? Oh. Don't let the foxes get them, whatever you do. Anyway, Olden Dorf, if you've bought the DB5, where are you going to... I thought you were saying you couldn't build anything because you've got no room. You need to stop buying Lego, buddy. Yeah, I've got to admit, it did make me laugh. That I actually watched the first uh, first few minutes of his video, and he's like, um, he's like, yeah, I've got, I've got no room, and uh, I've, got no, I've got no plans to sort it out. And I thought, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this made me laugh. It tickled me, that did. It's like, it's like blatantly, I just... He's just sitting there going... 
Yeah, I've got no plans to sort it out neither. I mean, I you've like, got oh, a, okay. they've got a plan for the castle, Oldendorf. If you get in the castle, where are you going to build it and put it? Yeah, I mean, that's not exactly priority, a small step. It? Definitely. You've got to make some space. Yeah. Why do you think I'm breaking up mocks that I've never even shown? Got to create that room. There you go, folks. That is for the Le Café. Café. Le Café. Uh, we seem to have lost music. Let's put the music on, shall we? Uh, oh. I don't know where it is. That's, uh, does it with our press play, I suppose. Have you have you built a train station before? No. Okay. This is the first train station I've ever built in my life. So how's it going? Really good. I mean, I'm loving it. I, I, I'm nearly finished this bag. Well, actually, I'll say that. I've got quite a few books left. But I will say this. It's just full of very cool bricks. Like, everything's decent size. I'm not. It, it's not like little bricks or anything like that. I genuinely think this is, this is one of those few Lego city sets that's actually worth... Worth the money. Yeah, I've got the little um, supermarket thingy, the little that I plan to get in the city somewhere. I mean, that's it so far. I mean, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look nice. It would actually would look good having a second one and proper modulising it. Yeah, I know. I, I generally think I will. I got I got Studgate in the in the thing, but I don't I don't know if I don't know if Studgate. Yeah, gonna, that is going to be that is going to be big. It will take up a lot of room. You hmm. need a big city. You need a. You did a Robin Hood bricks jang slash can't remember the other one we were talking Bricksy type city. Yeah, I mean, I mean maybe I won't keep that one. I might just sell it all or something. And put the problem is you'll get it and it'll look really nice and you'll want to build it on a stream. <laughs> well, this is the thing, see, uh, but but it is. I'm not going to want to build that on the stream. I don't, I, I don't know actually. Yeah, Do you know what? It's tempting. But it is. But uh, and then I look, I, I look how much it is. I'm like, because oh. I'm like. I mean, I basically, I better start putting some money aside now for for for, for that. Otherwise, my well, January the first is going to be ruined if those sets come then. Chickens are all good. They have got their own Instagram account. Blooming heck! <laughs> oh, here we go. He's good. He's good doing. Have a shy time. Is my time. Mm. I th I thought about doing a kid Instagram, and it probably would go mad. But the problem is, it'd be more popular than my Instagram, so I'd have to shut it down. Yeah, how would you feel about that, though, Ian? If, if these chickies became more popular than you, <laughs> yeah. do you know what I mean? Just saying, gobble gobble. Uh, dinner time speaks. Dinner time. It's only six thirty. Have you closed your shop already? I think I think Cy was shocked. You know, you know, uh, you know when I phoned up the Lego store at quarter to ten that night in London, and uh, anyway, take care, Trevor, um, and let us know as it go. Get in touch. I want to know how it's all going. Um, it goes to chicken eating in Lego collection. <laughs> it does get um, dangerous in Lincoln after five o'clock, so it might be wise to shut the shop. But it shut us down. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like watching Robocop, it is, yeah. in the evenings there. They all descend. Look at hand, Scotty. No, you're not. We're not having a cane instead. You do one. You do one, and I'll send you the photographs of what he's up to. You can run it and administer it. Just tell you what, most of the time he sleeps. <laughs> I'm surprised all that. I mean, that coat he's got is not is not helping him out in this weather, is it? It's not too bad because it's it's dual coated. So even when you touch it, there's a like a cool shimmer. It traps a lot of cool air in it for him. Oh, this is cool. You get that a lot with dual coated dogs. Dual coated, blimey. You got a guard hairs and a big. I was going to say dual molded. It's because um, he can swim in it. Ian goes, I, I'm only use Instagram for looking stuff, uh, looking at stuff rather than posting. So don't mind if the chickens get more followers. Uh, Baza, who feeds his cat cat yogurt, it's a thing, folks, believe me. We, we think it could be something else. But anyway, we'll go with what Barry says. Willow is so lazy to have her own Insta. She she just features in mine uh, She can when she can be bothered. Uh, Scott is saying, perfect. Perfect doll. You can hear, yeah, we're on Discord. You can hear um, him calling her with the yogurt, and then you can hear her lapping it up. Well, I hope it's the cat lapping it up, is all I'm saying. Yeah, this is the thing with Barry. You're never quite sure. You're never sure. The anatomy of Baza. It's very strange. Right, I talking of strange, I'm doing some sort of art piece for this now. This is quite nice. Ooh, a bit of art decor. A bit of art decor. Doing a, a, an art installation. 
Mills play it destroyed. Woohoo! Mm, that's a very bright yellow one, but we'll put that there. When are you going to get down to Trevor's shop then, mate? Um, if I decide to do Bricklinks, then I could go then. I could leave the show and go and pop down. Um, so I might do that. Um, it just depends really on timing because it, it, it's, it's about an hour and a half away, but you've got to go over the bridge as well, so you've got to factor in pain for the bridge as well, as well as the fuel prices. How much does it get over a bridge? In... Uh, do you know, I can't remember now if it's a couple of quid. It did go down for a bit, but we got charged ridiculous at one point. Really? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a couple of quid either way. But like you say, on top of the fuel as well. Yeah, all builds up, mate. I mean, I put I, I, I filled my tank up the other day. I only drove a minute. It was like 50 quid. I was like, oh, God, I didn't put that much in it before. And I'd, I'd only go really want cause, to have a cup of tea because there's not really a lot <laughs> I want. Ian, that's the sound of a... a, a of pre yogurt snog, isn't it? Oh, I, tell you, I can just imagine Barry Barry was like, oh, just imagine it. You know what I mean? When I, watched, when I watched Hero Gasm, that was the, that scene when he opens the door was the, just me thinking it passes yogurt. Yeah. Yeah. How many times got to that go scene now. Watch, Holden does going because he's got to make pizza dough for the family by. <laughs> Oh, you know, family. Like I didn't know. I, I thought it'd just be him in on that. The old family's in on it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it, it doesn't come across as being Italian to me. No, just, just. I think he lives above pizzeria. I think he does. Yeah, he's got like the what is it called? Is it the lazy, the lazy butler? Is it? You know them. Yeah, the the little bell thing. It, yeah, he's got an access point to it. Yeah. Did homemade yeah. burgers tonight, folks. Homemade burgers. Love those. Oh, these are nice. You're having homemade burgers? Yeah, homemade burgers. You are? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what oh, I'm you having. Are. No, we're having chicken, homemade chicken kebabs. I ma nicely marinated my chicken yesterday in Greek yogurt and spices. It's all ready to go. Oh, yeah, now you're talking. I tell you, you know what I'm going to do next week? Um, next week I'm doing a a member stream. I'm going to do, I could do a later one than normal. I'm going to do it between eight and nine. So in case any of our Aussie cousins want to join in. And uh, and you know what? I'm gonna go for a kebab. <laughs> a kebab? I'm gonna go for a lovely kebab. All right, it goes like that. There we go. Boom. There, like that. That's good. Oh, Kat just said. Just said. Uh, she said. She said Chinese leftovers today. Oh, that's that's never good for you. Dude, I love Chinese leftovers, especially old crackers, prawn crackers. They go a little bit soft the next day. It's like, oh, lovely. Yeah. Melt in your mouth, crackers. Lovely stuff. It's just It's just reheating rice and it's not good for you. Oh, yeah. That, no, that, that, do you know what? I never do that. I never reheat rice. It's the only thing I don't never reheat. Apparently, that's like one of the worst things yeah, you can ever is. reheat. Because if you get food poison off that, it's really it's bad. The, it's because they cook it in the morning and then they fry it in the China, for the Chinese already. So it's already been cooked. Twice yeah. before it gets to your house. Um, Minifig who says he has Chinese coming cat colors. Thank you. Uh, gold for just east. <laughs> um, I bet I, I bet size having the uh, Chinese tonight. Probably. What you, what you getting from the Chinese gas? That's what I want to know. Yeah. The beef from black bean. Oh yeah, like that. It's lovely stuff. That is. I've uh, got just build it out there as well. Which one pork. going in there what is that racing through them folks we're racing through them right okay we've got too much more to go and this will be done this is a nice little thing look there we go i've got to be honest though that that looks a bit weird there we go the old uh cherries on there i think are they cherries those things there? yeah it's the cherries yeah yeah and that goes just above here just above the uh the the arch yeah which is a bit weird every time i go every time i walk under that arch i'd be I'll be looking up to sort of box them or something. You know what I mean? It kind of goes with Tech's picture of his sick fig, doesn't it? <laughs> it does a bit, yeah. Um, 
you can imagine what we're talking about, folks. Don't ask us, but you can imagine it. Um, we're quite naughty, really. Do you, do you reckon? Do you reckon the Brits are naughtier than the Americans? Um, I think or, vulgar is the word you're looking for. Oh yeah, that's probably be more more appropriate, actually. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, it is. Uh, we're not as bad as the Germans, there. You can tell that from Discord. Blimey. God, no. Germans are filthy. Crikey, all right. You wouldn't believe what what the Germans come out with on Discord. God, gee, yeah, they're like animals. They are. Honestly. I mean, who knew? Who knew the things? I mean, we, do you know what we're talking about today that you've missed? What have I missed today? Because we talked about trains and we talked about train stations. Yeah. And it's confusing, Nicole, that there was a platform above the rails. And obviously in Germany, you just like, must have to get on the ramp. Or, I don't know what was going on there. So then there's this other thing where when they move from flat to flat, yeah. the kitchen's not included in the fixtures and fittings, which I just find bizarre. The bathroom what? is... But the kitchen is not, which is really weird. Kitchens are a pain to get out and move. So you take the kitchen with you or you sell it to the next person coming in. Very bizarre. Anyway, which led to us saying, I bet there's no toilets on your trains either. At which point Nicole then said, and I have witnesses, yeah. that she'd just go on the roof and lay a log out. Really? Yes. Oh, my God. Well, I tell you what, folks, if you ever see something in the form of a maybe a croissant or something like that, on a train roof, right? That's my little nod to uh, Germany, that is. <laughs> That's when I said it'd be handy if you're sitting back to front then, because at least it's going to smack you in the back of the head if the wind gets it, rather than right in the face. Oh, yeah, you've got to be a bit strategic when you do that. You've got to pick your moment, haven't you, really? Look at that, folks. This is uh, this is Picasso, in case anyone's just tuned in and thinking, what on earth is that? It's a Picasso. Uh, basically, folks, I use it for applying stickers like that there we go it's not bad is it there we go one day we're going to get another german that comes in who's going to go this is all lies and making us look bad yeah and nicole lives in essex well i'll tell you what folks give it uh, roughly september i've got someone pretty cool coming on so uh what's this space they happen to be german and we'll find out the truth yeah uh, see echo fooling we're all there they're all this is all nice. witnesses yeah we're all witnesses to this travesty. Voila. There we go. Well, that's bag that's bag six done. Uh, I'm loving this. This is very cool. That, we've got a fresh, yeah, this, a fresh I like chair. The, I like the fact they've gone with, you know, we've talked about this before. Like, I know and Mark mentioned it last night, how friends are diverting their colours. But the city ones are also up in the colours to make it more, mm -hmm. you know, that, that it doesn't matter what the colours are. For, you know, there's no defined gender sort of set. And I, I think that looks quite nice. That blue with the lime green. Yeah. This is a really cool set. Folks. Yeah, it does like, look quite a good totally combination. Good. And this is the this is the thing. I and I do you know what? I totally agree. Uh, we've just built it, dude. Uh, totally ro rock on, right? People would buy these Lego. You need to do this as a separate set as well. Yeah, I've always wondered why they don't split them up and give people mm. the option. I'm I'm definitely going to you know buy the parts for this, but in I need red ones really. Maybe I should just do red and blue buses. They tried it with the fire station, didn't they? I don't know how much of a success it was splitting the fire station up into the vehicle. Hey. Get the bricks in the house. Oh, dude, nice to see you. I haven't seen you for a little while. Hope all is well with you, my friend. Uh, Ian's saying the colours are a bit a little bit co op. They, the they colours are a little bit co op. <laughs> a little bit co -op. co op. Yeah, what's the matter with co op? They're doing some good deals at the moment, folks, uh, by the way. Co op. Um, Sounds like Coop. It does. Um, there we go. That is very cool. It is a bit co-op-y, I suppose, but you know, what can I say? Um, right. Oh, we've got a free, we've got a free printed piece with that as well. I tell you what I like in this as well. The uh, is the in the cafe. As long as it's not Aldi, I'm all right. Oh yeah. Actually, you think that would go there? But it don't. Um, you got the cafe here. You come through there, and you have got the coffee machine there. I do like that coffee machine. That is a nice little build. That's worth doing a little short on that. Building a little uh, espresso machine or something this like that. This is why Greg doesn't get cities built because he's doing shots. <laughs> it's because I'm a YouTuber. I've got to make videos and stuff like that. I do videos for for, for, for even my live streams. What can I say? Uh, the, the, I've done more in this city in the last couple of months than what I've done ever. This is all part and parcel of it. It's all part and parcel. So of the it. big I'm... the big question is: is that low enough that platform to fit the doors of the new tree? Well, we try it, won't we, later? Yeah, because later is, on, that is well, the big one. Later on, the camera 
will be over there, folks. The camera will be over there and we will see everything moving live. What can possibly go wrong? Anyway, I'll tell you what. Go on, mate. I'm pretty sure the existing train stations that they've done will be too high for the drop-down doors. Possibly. They possibly will be. Mm -hmm. Nicole says... Uh, uh, I was going to do a German impression, but it would sound terrible. Yeah, uh, it goes, uh, I have a feeling uh, that I need to bring my passport next Friday in order to have some sort of identification which proofs uh, my identity and nationality. I think you do, actually. I think I you, need you were going to bring your mum, well. yeah. Yeah, bring mom. your mum. Bring your mum on. Um, and uh, fakes don't count, Nicole, apparently. <laughs> Love it. There we go. Essex girl and gold. Now then, folks, keep chatting away. I'm going to be playing the, the speed build just while I get myself the next set of bags. Oh, I keep sinking into your blue, into your blue. Yeah, I keep sinking into your blue, into your blue. Stars, I keep seeing stars inside your eyes. what salix it actually really is a cool set now i've just pulled out uh the next bag so i'm just putting the tree together for it odd build for the tree doesn't it it's a tree but not as we know it <laughs> um food bricks says you always be 21 in my eyes nicole lady mcbrick blimey i think you're coming on a bit strong there baz uh and uh get the bricks says, thank you so much i was a bit nervous before getting on uh, good to have you here, mate. It always is nice to have you here. Because I'm eager to get this station as well. August the 1st. Is that, folks? Not long to go. Um, but, yeah. It's uh, it's a very, very... Yeah, Monday. Monday, Monday. Yeah, indeed. Not long to go. Well, tell me, guys. What are you lot out there thinking about getting as well? What's on your radar to do? It seems to have come round quick, doesn't it, when we're talking about um, Lego Con watch party and stuff that came out and all of a sudden it's august it seems to have come flying around it does doesn't it it really does um oh that co that lego con pie was really good we did so what we did folks we did a we did a watch party uh so people just we all kind of people on on the, on the membership just kind of beamed in and uh we, we we just did this but it was only only the people that are members you were on the stream and we was all watching it and that was the most interesting part about it for me was just 
kind of people's reactions and what people thought and everyone's sort of perspectives on it. Predictions. But, yep, that's it. Um, but there's there's definitely without a shadow of a doubt Razor Crest coming out. Uh, yeah, well, I think Promo Bricks have already said it, and it so that must be true because they seem to have got everything else spot on. They do, don't they? They do get a lot right. Am I? I am right in saying Promo Bricks. Right. This might have been the most ridiculous question I've ever asked, but Promo Bricks are not in LAN, are they? No. No. Okay. Cool. I mean, it would not surprise me if they maybe were once and then got maybe uh, given the boot, so to speak. But um, that, that doesn't mean I don't think they're outside of this. And this is my own personal opinion that there isn't some kind of um, relationship going on. I wouldn't be surprised. A lot of people say they've got a very good relationship with a German retailer, but I think you'd be able to find that out pretty quick by stopping sending stuff to German. Because I don't, th I don't see how a German retailer would have got the the castle for them to have seen the castle. To, because they would have just got a list of stuff coming out. They wouldn't necessarily have got a picture. Um, yeah. Because, yeah. They drew it, didn't they? They drew it. Yeah, because not even the land people had got that castle until really late on. And, you know, that to try, to help stop the leaks from LegoCon, I, I assume. Because, obviously, not <coughs> everything leaks out the land. But there are some times where people who are privy to stuff, you know, take advantage. I know that's what happened with the at 80 where it was... It was sent to somebody, and they accidentally sent it to somebody they shouldn't have done. Oh, did they? Is that what happened there? That was the alleged story, yes. But um, oh. they were quick to apologise, etc. But it does make does beg the question. There wasn't a lot of stuff that came out of Lego Con that we were aware of, hmm. um, and none of the land had any of them sets early that were revealed on there. So. But that made a you nice refreshing math. change, didn't it? Because we we generally had a couple of surprises there. Um, yeah, and that would be the whole point of having the show. That's what made the other one not as good. I know there was other elements to it, but the fact that they brought out the Star Wars set we'd already seen was um, was a bit of a sh letdown, wasn't it, the year before? Mm. Yeah, yeah, we, we saw way too much. And to be fair to Lego, that was their first ever one. They definitely listened to the feedback, that's for sure. And, um, and they're going better this year still not perfect i think they need to be a bit more uh choosy about what people present for them but otherwise uh i think they're doing a great job yeah they kind of need to look at something like san diego comic-con and see just a little bit how they do the the stream stuff and just take a little bit of because they've been doing it for a lot of years so they've perfected the halls and all mm. the things that when the announcements come and they could probably learn a bit from that because they do um they do keep it quite good yeah lessons lessons to be learned improvements oh, yeah, to be made indeed well, i think gaz was saying he's undecided what he wants to get a couple of uh star wars sets or the Galaxy Explorer. Personally, I'd go for Galaxy Explorer. That's, and I'm only saying next. I'm going to probably buy one. I'll either get that in London when the London uh, Lego store reopens, or I will get that when I'm in Dublin. Yeah, so just... cram it in the box. That's all. Uh, cram it in my um, in my case. Yeah, yeah. I just mm, I'm not sure whether I want to wait for that one now. I know it's at another retailer. Well, it's the Smiths now, isn't it? That's the thing, and everyone's saying the same thing. You know, it's it's you know you know the thing is as well. The Galaxy Explorer isn't one of those sets that you need. Do you know what I mean? It's it's not one of those ones that you need so much, but rather um, you could you could potentially wait for it. But and if you do, then you're going to save money on, on it. I, I think sure. if it had been on the issue that we've had with some sets, so if it had been on Lego dot com is you'd go on there at midnight and hmm. um, you'd probably want you know whatever the gift would purchase if it is going to be the, the forest set again and you'd be waiting for ages as the website fails and you'd have all that anxiety that normally comes with it and then there's a chance that it, you know it could go quickly on to back order because it's popular i think once you know that it, from day one it's going to be at another retailer that goes out the window because you'll just be able to get it from smith's and they'll deliver it like next day um, which yeah. is probably quicker than Lego for a lot cheaper than Lego as well. Their postage is so much better. Yeah. And here's the thing as well. The Americans, right, um, they only have to pay 
uh, I think it's thirty dollars, and then they get free uh, free postage. Whereas yeah, so it's fifty for us, isn't it? It's fifty for us. We pay a hell of a lot more. It's like that's equivalent of like sixty dollars. That is. So what's all that about? Do they pay the tax on when they buy it online? Do they pay the tax as per their local region, or do they just pay? Is it so. cheaper? Is it cheaper to buy online than it is to buy in a store? Because obviously, when you go to when I went to the Lego store in Florida, the the price on the set wasn't what you paid because they added the Florida tax to it. The thing, so I don't know whether if it works like that. Anybody who's ordered anything in America, do 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 you have to put your state tax on top when it? Do they charge you it? I don't know. It works. I don't know. I'm loving the way these um, the way the roof comes together. It's not windows. Yeah, really nice. Really, really well done. Excellent. Like, very cool technique I am unfamiliar with. So you pay the local, uh, get the bricks saying you pay the local tax on it when buying it in Texas. So whatever the price is on Lego, it, they add the, the, the local tax cool. to it. Thanks for that, uh, GTV. It's always fascinating that because I found America really difficult to get my head around because I like to just see the price and pay it so you go yeah, oh yeah coffee is like five dollars and then you go up and she's like oh it's 525 and you're like what where did, where did the 25 come from i had i had it all counted out <laughs> oh it's going on the contactless that's how it went <laughs> yeah change away contactless exactly mate yeah you ain't gotta worry about it and stuff like that i think this day and age people prefer contactless anyway now what with um you know so covid and things like that i think it's just become a thing that people prefer two or more bricks saying the same thing interesting well there you go a lot of the thing learned today yeah so we have to pay the local tax if you have it in your say to say yeah, yeah. same as us usually pay both. Mm. Interesting. whereas we just already have the vat on ours already so we know yeah we we basically know our bottom line there's no no surprises yeah on um and i think the explorer i checked i think it's walmart that have got the exclusive on the explorer so that's day one on nice. walmart which oh, is, is good. again i i find that really strange that lego would do that because you you basically you know straight away off the back saying you don't need to come to the lego shop and buy because mm. uh, stuff like castle and explorer i would if i was lego i personally speaking yeah, i would, I would have that as the exclusive the... yeah I'm saying I, I can expect the we, we we expect the castle to be another retail partner, but like the Home Alone was three or four months after it's actually come out. Mm. But not like the Explorer Day One, a good price set that I would have thought would have flown out the Lego store. Especially as people will buy a couple, get the gift with purchase because it'll go over the threshold and then they can build the other version. Yeah, good point actually. That's a good shout. There is there is a compelling reason to actually buy two of them. Mm. If you want the gift with purchase and you're like, no, I need to make it up from to 150 or whatever it's going to be, you'd be mm. like, well, I'll just get two because then I can build the other mini other version of it and I've got some spare bricks and spare scene. Off we go. Nice. Uh, hi, Heather. I won't tell Scott that you typed on his laptop. That's my niece. Oh. She's just staying over at my mum and dad's at the moment. Hey, Heather. Ooh, we've got some printed pieces to go on this is like a command center love this uh what have we got going on here i'll show you these in just a tick folks oh, love it what's this bit for then what is this part of the shop this is going to be this is oh, i'm building a, a whole new shop this is going to be a ticket office what i'm building oh, here. The ticket office, nice. yeah Hon honestly folks They're this packing. is so good they have they really have i'm like i am super loving this it's kind of a real big wholesome set um Oh, let me show you the uh, command pieces on there. There you go. I thought that with the um, uh, the van that you did, the farmer's market van, because the little side build is quite good with the corner. The cob could have been a poly bag, couldn't it? it yeah. Could have been, just been the van could have been slightly less, and that could have been a poly bag. It seems they could split up like the bus quite easily. I, I've kept them together. I, I, I'm actually. Do you know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to start doing you know, with these so many side builds. If I actually really like the side build, and I think, oh, I could learn something from that. I'll just keep it together and put it in a drawer or something and then put it out one day when I'm uh, going to kind of want to do it. You heard it here first. He keeps his side builds in his drawers. Oh, yeah. I've got loads of these bricks as well. 
Oh, uh, come with this set. Yeah, for mercenary. Yeah, I mean, love this. But for these particular designs, that's what they want. They want that side of it. Yeah, I'm going for a different effect. So how many of those are we doing? Five. I've four, done that a couple of times. Four, five. But it's it. They've got the design really, really nice here because you got you got that masonry style there, and then you got these wonderful uh, two or one by two by five there. Translucent. And you know what this reminds me of as well, folks. The was the new modern house that came out in 2021 yeah. i think it was um the style one wasn't it yeah and this is definitely a, a follow-up to that anyways oh man city oh liverpool beat man city 3-1 mm. in the charity could that be a sign of things to come for the new season folks which Apparently, it kicks off next week, I believe. Yeah. The, I always find the, the Charity Cup's never a true reflection. It's not really, no. Yeah. But It's interesting that those two went we had a chance to see each other early on. But My word, we have 49 thumbs up. Come on, folks. One of you out there. Oh. One of you, give us a thumbs up. You know you uh, want to. We've got 70 votes and we've got 49 thumbs up. Come on, folks. Two bricks it. saying there are a couple of states in the US with no taxes on goods. Oh, you'd like to live there then? Definitely. They'll be taxed in some other form though. Oh, I am loving this. Look at this, folks. Look, we've got ourselves a proper little office on the go there. I'm loving it. Like the mobile office. Nice big bricks going around it. I have to say that green does work particularly well with the what is this colour, Craig? Uh Azure, is it? Mm, it's it's kind of more greeny greener than that. It could be Azure actually. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right, actually. I have to get out my Lego palette. And fooling, no, it's not all about the championship just because Norwich got relegated. I just seen that uh cat liked my um my reel that I put out yesterday. Um look at the butt on that. <laughs> yep. That was quite that was a good little one. Um learned a couple of techniques doing that reel as well, funny enough. Right, what do I need here? I'm actually I'm, oh no, I thought it was missing a brick then. Oh, these are the other sorting trays I got, by the way. I got these ones from uh, Wilco's. Th these were like really cheap. I got a load of those for like a fiver or something. Um, but when I was kind of experimenting on what ones I wanted to use, oh, not great. Let's put gray in there. Great, great, great. Come to me, gray. Uh, I got one more bag after this. It's a, it's quite a small bag, and then we can see how it works with the new train set, which is going to be quite good, isn't it? I'm quite excited about that. Um, have you have your boys signed anyone uh, recently, mate? Uh, they put in a bid, an audacious bid for James Madison, which surprised me. Oh, that's, that's cool. rejected 40 million. So I don't know whether they're going back in for him or not. I, I what, kind of thought they were going for a striker. Yeah, we bought a striker from somewhere. Oh, I've got his name there. Pay 40 million for him as well. But the only problem is we, we got a defender. We signed a defender and he's blooming got an ankle injury now. So that's a, a tad unlucky. So is that one a, is that one darker Zer then or rather I think it is a bit darker as you yeah. yeah darker Zer might be the one it was then looking at that oh we got we got uh Papa's uh Papa's bricks in the house Papa I haven't seen you for a little while my friend hope hope all is good with you um hope you're well uh was that Maddie's Norwich gro growing uh, I don't, what's he talking about there not Norwich lost today anyway to Cardiff of all people so no they that. lost Norwich lost yeah, was that, actually, that was actually a proper no. Um, proper match because the championship kicked off, didn't it? Oh, I'm sure, no. they were to Cardiff, unless he's unless I'm the scored later on. Oh, I don't know, but Barry, tell us how it went because, like, he's he's I, I actually quite like their away kit as it happens. Um, 
but yeah, no, Barry, you, they need to bounce back. That 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 is not how you bounce back. <laughs> I feel like coming up with any cliches to say, "Wow, well, it's a long season," you know. Um, but it Barry could be it. could be bright bluish green. Looking at the set list, hard to tell on camera. But I'm looking at yeah. the parts that you've got in there. It could be my a... camera definitely makes it look slightly different. To what there is, is a dark azure in there as well. So you've got two types of blue. You've got a dark azure. <laughs> And you've got a uh, um, bluish green one by four, so it could be could be either or. There we go. If it's the same color as the some of the mini upper parts of the, of the ticket workers, then it's the bright bluish green. Mm -hmm. Bright bluish green. Okay, mate. Okay. Right, I've got the uh, Picasso out because uh, this is where we're going to put the tickets on. <laughs> He says he's not happy. So that yes, they lost. <laughs> he's not happy. Oh, I'm not hey. happy. Oh, Norwich. The Canaries have been shot down again. Honestly, yeah, Sam Samaka. That's who we got. Thank you, Joe, for that. That's the name. He looks like a good buy. To be fair, we never know the deal till they get in the Premiership. But I, d I do think I don't know what you think. Oh yes, um... yes, it's, that was him. Yeah, the Italian yeah. striker. Yeah. I don't I might know call him you... Snap. <laughs> I don't know. You thought to um, Harland in that match, Snap, because you probably saw a bit more of it. The bits I saw, he looked very dangerous, very sharp. Who's this? The West Ham striker? No, the Man City Harland, the wonder, the wonder boy. He's 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 a big unit, fast big unit. Oh God! He looks like he's kind of built for the Premiership, but. I saw, even when he, he sort of lost balance, he managed to get a shot off. I was quite impressed with that because a lot of people they just flow themselves on the floor and he was he managed to get a decent shot off while he was off balance. Oh, wow. That um, was always a shame of Andy Carroll. Loved him. West Ham fans, we absolutely loved Carroll, but he had glass legs. Yeah, his injury was just too too bad. Oh, that started horrific. in Liverpool, didn't it, when he went to yeah. Liverpool for big money? It's always a... Always a mistake to go for big money when you're at your peak, I think. You need to keep, carry on playing established, then go. Stan Collymore was the same. He went to Liverpool for big money and he was never the same player he was at Forest. Hmm. That is a nice. nice sticker. Yeah, that's actually a really nice one. This whole set, I'm not joking, folks. This is one of my favourite sets I've built this year. This is so weird. I did. I, I love that you say that every time we build one on stream. It must. Be I know. Me. I know. But we've always built really good stuff. Like last year, the Batmobile, which apparently is is um that's up for retirement this year. That the new Batmobile, the little tumbler, yeah, the little tumbler. Yeah, I, I, I'm definitely going to buy one of those as a uh, for a rainy day one. But it's all about shelf in it. You've got to think about the shelf. I get how you know every Lego store's got to get the stuff on the shelf, so you can see why some little sets go and come and check this out. Look, check this out. That there. <laughs> With that there. That is a really good technique. Never used that technique before. There we go. Look. Show you like that. Yeah, little oh, tumbler's like. a great set. Like that. That tumbler was for £32, whatever it was anyway. Uh let's call it 35 quid, right? Uh, I tell you what, folks, a week ago you could get it on Amazon for 20 quid. I'll definitely mm. be buying one or two of them, maybe. Uh that is awesome. That's so good. It really is. I love all the fact that they're letting the light in, uh, which is what it's all about. Know, it's like they've copied my bugle idea. That's what I did for the bugle. Maybe they did. Maybe they did, my friend. Maybe they did. Two so indie kids. It says I'm dishing up dinner, so I have to go. Hopefully, you're still going when I'm back uh, to clean the kitchen. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be. I'll kind of be done by then. I'm yeah, I am. Anyway. I'm hungry. I'm, 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 me too. I'm actually starving. I can eat my tongue. Um, anyway, let's get this. Up. Where does this go? Well, I tell you where this goes, everybody. Right, this goes on top here. Uh, so let's pop that on there, like like that. There we go. Uh, is it going to go? Is it going to go? It sure is. Look at that. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, you uh, could easily it's... lift that floor up as well, couldn't you? And have those windows right at the top, so it's all level. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So anyway, let's pop that on there. Let's get there. We've got a few bricks left, so hopefully there's something still to do. Oh yeah, that's good. So where are we going here? I need to first of all uh, got these lovely trans bricks there, which is always lovely. Uh, then we got that there. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm really sorry to hear Norwich lost actually, because you, you psychologically you want to win that. You're in a, a lower division, right? Yeah, you want to get off to a good start. Don't you you? want to get off to a good start, yeah. Because otherwise, 
it's like, oh, here we go. Same old, same old. Um, well, it happens, doesn't it? Sunderland spiraled, didn't they? Yeah, you know, they went, massively. Started losing, they went down. I mean, it happened to Hull City as well. They had a little, had to come up another division to get back into the championship. I mean, okay, there's a few other teams that have done it. Spiraled right out of the... I think one actually went right out of the football league, didn't it? Or well, Sheffield Wednesday. What happened to them? Yeah, they it wasn't them though, was it? I'm sure there was a big, a big, quite a big club that fell quite out of the football league for the first time. Really? Cool. Yeah. Right. Two more stickers to go on there. This one's number seven, folks. Right. Let's pop that on there. It's almost like a Barry contraption, that white thing now, isn't it? Yeah, I call it Picasso, though, because it is, it's is—it's its like a proper little piece of art. Just needs the landing strip. Are you trying to put me off? <laughs> is it working? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I made Under a big zero pressure. that one. Oh, don't worry. I, I, I didn't commit to it. Under pressure. Under pressure. Dum, 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 Sounds dum, in the room. Sounds. Here we go. Here we go. God, white on white. Honestly, you've got this ball around it. I think, I think that will do. Well, I'm not sure. There Brighton nearly did it back in the day, and look where they are now. Like a good yeah. side, Brighton. Brighton are very good side. They're very, very good side. We've got a little kink in that. Doesn't happen very often. I think the problem with Brighton is, is if they don't keep all of the manager, then they'll, they'll not be as good. Yeah, they're f he's a funny one though. Their manager, he kind of reminds me of. Do you remember Alan Kerbishley? Yeah, yeah. Kind of reminds me of. He was a good manager. He just had a bit of a bad time didn't he? he i think he needed he needed another shot really he didn't really mm. get one there we go that's kind of do that will kind of do there's a little kink in there but it's kind of all right feel insane we'll make history we'll win three championships in a row and come straight back up we have a new top brazilian player coming okay is that the same brazilian that you built on this your lego stream yeah because if it is yeah it's not going to score goals it's not going to score goals mate it'd be lucky if it scored anything what? But did they win last season when they won it? Did they win the first game of the season? That's the question I want to know. And the time before that, did they win the first game of the season? Yeah, because that's how football works. There we go, folks. That's perfect that time. He's laughing now. <laughs> laughing at the Brazilian. <laughs> the Brazilian. I'll tell you what, yeah. If they've got that on their minds, that's why they're losing. Right. Yeah, we weren't very good at football with no legs and feet, would they? No. Maybe that could be their, that, that could be Norwich City's new mascot. What Baz has Baz made? You know what I mean? I, I, he was what well, made me laugh. Baz, he wasn't even embarrassed when he showed it off. No, he was quite content with himself, wasn't he? <laughs> I was like, and honestly, folks, read. Oh, that's nice touch. Look at this. Look, look at that there. Lovely stuff. This is honestly, this is a very good set, folks. I'm, I'm, so can't believe I'm actually saying it. But this is one of my fave sets of the year. Um, there we go. This is up to. Uh, bag seven i think that was <laughs> uh so I'm just showing a lot left oh, there isn't right, i've got a very small bag to do next small one to do next it really is um i was going to review it but i probably won't review it now uh but I, what i will say folks is this this is a really good set if you don't want to pay 70 pounds for it do yourself a favor do get it on discount i mean look you got all this with it as well you got all this this is this is not a small bus i mean look count those studs you know this is a good this is a really good play set this is like there's a lot of things going on here that as a kid i would have loved as an adult i love it even more i really do anyway the teal here he comes yeah man okay so we're on to bag bag eight now all right bag eight and this you know what for the last time folks for the last time right let's play the speed build Oh, I keep sinking into your blue, into your blue. Yeah, I keep sinking into your blue, into your blue. Stars, I keep seeing stars inside your eyes. In my mind, I'm holding on to all the sparks flying through the dark while we collide. I'm all you ever wanted Take me to a crowded place And I know all I see Is the way that you breathe Hit me like a hurricane And I know all I need Is your love next to me Oh, I keep sinking 
me holding heaven Take me to a crowded place and I know all I see is the way that you breathe Hit me like a hurricane and I know all I need is your love next to me Oh, I keep sinking into your power certainly is the perfect city boost pack all those buses and stations it really is so not got much more to do now um now i realize why we've got these pieces on there because that they fixed to the track i'm not going to fix that to this one because over there folks we're going to do it for real uh, in the city in the moment uh he said did i just see venkman <laughs> uh, and it, oh dad joke got dad joke number 15 coming in what do you oh, call back. what do you call a beer with no ears or a bear with no ears, I should say. A beer. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, oh, a beer? And then I was like, oh, yeah, it's a, oh, it's a bear. Uh, just a bee. I said, that's a bad one. That's the worst one. Yeah, I think. Uh, that's not that's not a good comeback, Anna. Sorry, you're going to have to try harder. There we go. There's the minifigure that comes with this. This is the sixth minifigure that comes with this set, folks. That is good. Because as we all know, the more the minifigs, the more the expense. Cool little minifigure, that. I like this loving that one that's awesome right also as well i tell you what we do get with this as well this set we get these pieces what are these all about yeah the ramps up for the road pieces yeah the rail pieces sorry they, they came with the hidden side didn't they yeah the hidden side train oh did they yeah. I, got, I got that to build it's just to make it a playable for like if you're pushing a train oh the, car, the, the road thing onto it aren't you Cause, Otherwise, you'd have to add a load more parts to have a, a heightened road that then could drive onto the track. Okay, I see. Well, what I'm going to do, I'll just pop that over there. I'm going to sort of disassemble this piece because some of this road we don't actually need to use anyway. Um, but I'm going to. I don't know what you'd use those big, big huge pieces for, really, other than kiddie playset stuff. Yeah, I mean, worth having. In... One. Yeah, I suppose so. But it's worth having in your back pocket just in case. Um, anyway, let's pop that on there. We've just literally got these two these two bins here worth of stuff. Oh, I tell you what is nice. Look at all these. Get a load of these with these. Look, the two by six uh, tiles. They're nice, yeah. aren't they? Loving that. This is a nice little build coming up. So what we're doing here, folks, put a couple of round plates on there, a two by four green plate, and uh, we, we, we are literally tiling the whole of that area up. So let me just uh, get those correctly set up. Here we go. Yeah, I wonder if I could use those pieces for like a pitched roof. The um, the, the end bits that on the track. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, is that your Mark. dog? Yeah. Mark thinking the same could use the right sort of overhang. Yeah, you could, I think you could. Roofy type pieces. They're a bit. They're a bit big, but they'd, they'd work. Yeah, I, did, I mean, it's, that is a. They're big elements, aren't they? Let's face it. Mm. They do add a lot to the price of the set. They do. Right. Okay. So let's get those in there. These bad boys in here. Look at this, folks. It's a nice little bit of the build. This is. 26 degrees in here now i'm thinking to myself it's getting a bit warm in here uh it's 26 degrees rain in here yeah. is it i think it's due to rain tomorrow uh here that's nice isn't it Look, that is a that is really nice like that a little bit of curved action that's it we've got even more curves action going on there mate i'm putting curves literally all down the side of this that's like a bit like the bottom design of the um supports for london bridge that circular 
It is. It is. And you never know, folks. One day I might even have a, a form of London Bridge. 21 and raining here. 21. 21. My, dude, honestly, it's like 26 here. Well, it's 26 inside the cabin, but the cabin's normally about a degree or two warmer than outside. There we go. Just, nice. just my gaming laptop alone just heats this place up. It really does. Uh, my God, Kat's saying it's 14 degrees where she is. So It was 20 degrees where Cy was yesterday. He had the fan on. Hi from Austria. Hello. Give me more bricks. Nice to see you. Give me more bricks. Amazing. Austria. Love, I love, love Austria. Austria. I do, yeah. Brilliant country. Yeah. yeah. It's really, I, honestly, folks, Austria is so nice. Uh, I went there a couple of years ago and... Uh, I fell in love with it. I went there winter time. That's it. Christmas love shopping. The, love the food. I used to holiday quite regularly with my dad at a travel agency in in the Tyrol Valley of Austria. Bugen and Strass, beautiful country. Yeah, I went to their capital. Uh, stayed right in the centre of town. There's a lot of building work going on around there. But it didn't, didn't stop me having like it's, it's, it's still beautiful all around there as well. Went to some lovely um, orchestral. Uh, concerts in the churches there it was, it was just it's just amazing i felt i absolutely felt at home when i was there it was the strangest feeling like you know when you sort of think oh i'd, I'd like to live here well mm. austria was one of those places um we, we used to go like late 80 yeah well no middle of 80s when we first started taking holidays there and at that time the big log cabiny rendered proper austrian type houses they had underfloor heating i've never had any underfloor like underfloor heating it's yeah. fantastic you get up and have underfloor heating in a in the hotel now i mean it's more common and everyone has it but back in the mid 80s crikey no that was new then mate that was proper yeah. new um it's lovely i've got, got underfloor heating in the cabin i have and um he lives near Linz at the river danube i have to look that up now that'd be cool very cool, mate. Well, welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh, welcome to London Bridge Bricks as well, my friend. If you happen to be new around here, um, do consider hitting that subscribe button. It'd be lovely to have you here. Um, someone in from Austria. We got Nicole. Nicole, we got someone in from Austria. Um, give him a warm welcome, Ooh, everybody. Linz looks nice. Wow. I've got a nice botanical garden. Oh, nice, yeah. That is that is nice. They always make their um, cities and towns look really pretty compared to some of ours. Well, I, I, do you know what Vienna, where I was, it was that was comparable to London, a hundred percent. Like it, it was beautiful. I went to um, well, check out on Instagram, folks. I took loads of pictures when I was out there, and, and also as well, uh, I even went to the Lego store. It's another Lego store that I've been to in another country. Um, did a whole video on that one was awesome that was they got two lego stores over there if i remember correctly yeah, it's not 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 too far I, yeah salzburg was the area i went to so it's not not too far away it's obviously quite away but it's not mm. close to where i used to go no i do want to go to austria soon again though loved it out there uh and can i just say love the coffee in austria yeah. and do you know a, a nice thing that they do in austria that i've never seen done anywhere else is they give you a shot of water to have when you've had your coffee which i really liked it was like yeah so i do that now every time i have coffee so every time i have coffee i have water as well i drink as much coffee as i do water now and i picked that up that simply all came from a long very very long weekend it was five five nights actually in uh, in austria so there we go there's part of that i'm so not actually gonna put that on the track today folks this is part and parcel of uh, the rail crossing gas getting in with the bad jerks oh is vienna it? it means nothing to me oh there we go do you know what i used to i genuinely right you know when you hear things and you hear them wrong which happens to me quite a lot actually in all honesty I used to think he was singing, right? Uh, it means nothing to me. Oh, and, and you know, we go, oh, Vienna. I used to think he was singing up the Amers. Uh, I thought he was thing to say, singing Vienna. <laughs> Vienna. So, oh, literally, as as chance would have it, yeah. Linz is described 
has been midway between Salzburg and Vienna. And I have been to Vienna, but I was more to wow. Salzburg. And you've been to Vienna. How weird is that? That is Look, weird. We need to do a European <laughs> tour, don't we? need to do a European road we trip. Well, if, if all goes out, if all goes well, um, well, I don't know. T tell the peeps what we might be doing next year, dude. Going to Scareback. 100%. Denmark, Billund, Billund and Skerbeck. Uh, uh, we were talking about it today that it's going to take some blooming planning. I need to speak to some people who've done both. Yes. They're not near, they're not that near each other. So they're not. I, I'm, no. I'll get in touch with, um, because I'm sure, I'm sure Cranky's done it. And I'll tell you who else I think's done it most likely is, oh, what's her name? Does Micropolis. Well, I will message Kevin because Kevin's done it loads of times and he's the man to know. Mr. Gascoigne, as in Fairy Bricks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, so I will enough. definitely get exactly what to do from, from Kaz Mocket. And Kaz, yeah. Yeah, Kaz definitely would have done it. I'm sure of it. There we go. There's the, there's the gates being built. How cool is that? Mark's coming. Mark wants to get on. Who wants to come on? What? Uh, Mark. Gaza? No, yeah, Mark. Uh... Oh, is Mark. Gaza, was going? Minark. Minark. Mark. Sorry, mate. Minark. Um, let me honestly, folks. If you if you are interested, right, that's what we're doing next year. Uh, I'm going to be flying from Gatwick, um, and I'm well, going to be driving over with a van. <laughs> <laughs> I might. Uh, do you know what? I could I could probably drive up. Do you know some people do that? Uh, it's, um, we were saying it is slightly easier because then you've got the car with you, and you can also bring back Lego. Yeah, good point, actually. Do you it's know difficult what? to get back on the plane. Yeah, to but that's to be honest, it's not it's not that bad a drive. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure last year when I looked at um, driving from... Um, well, I went up to the Lake District last year and I looked at it. I was like, blimey, I could have gone up to Northern Europe in that yeah, time. You can... you be, So here, you can get on Hull to Rotterdam. So you can go on the overnight ferry, which is always good. Yeah. I love that ferry. And then off the other side, it's about... I think it's about five hours of driving. I'm sure we did it in about six or seven with loads of stops with the van and not really going that fast because the driver was a bit tight on fuel. So he was keeping it low. But yeah, it's not that far at all to... Um, that's a good shout. From actually, Ro mate. from Rotterdam to to Berlin, it's quite good. We could do a road trip, a European road trip. Yeah. You'd have to grow a beard so it could be the hairy Legoers. The hairy Legoers. Instead of the hairy bikers. I'm a I'm a cockney. I'm like clean cut. I'm a gentleman. <laughs> you had a beard once. Oh, what do you reckon I'm... of that, folks? Let us know if anyone's interested. If they want to come with us, I only drive a mini. You're like Max and Paddy, weren't it, on the road to nowhere? All right. Look. Uh, right, let's do that. This is so good. Loving this. Look at this, folks. I built a gate. I built a gate. Love it. All right, let's pop him on there. Uh, so that goes on there, and that goes like. Uh, I thought, yeah, about seven hours is about right. Yeah. So basically, just we we'll take a few extra days off. Maybe maybe I'll take a couple more days off. I don't. You are right though. It is easier to get around in, isn't it? I suppose. Mm. But yeah, it would be because you. I can't remember how square scare. So how far is scare back away? Do you like this track, folks? I sometimes use this track when I'm doing a speed build. Right, so the other pieces we've got on this, right, folks, it's just the road. It's the road that leads to it. It's just basically the road connects to that. So let's build that, which will take me seconds. Yeah, that's not a bad yeah, idea. See, it's down, yeah, I remember it being down. It's a, I thought it was half an hour. It's more, it's an hour away from Bill and his scareback. Is that driving? Yeah, that's driving. It would. I tell you, what, I, I'm pretty so you'd sure have it. to fly into Billund, yeah. and then visit everything there, and drive down to Scarebeck. Possibly they all stay at stay at Scarebeck, and drive back up to Billund, do the bits, get on the plane. Yeah, probably what they do for the weekend. Wow. So on the on a car, you see, you would come up, be able to go to, go up to Billund and drive down to Scarebeck, and then go back to Billund as much as you like, really. Hmm. 
And then as you just leave Scareback to go back, because it's obviously nearer to... It's only six hours from Scareback to Rotterdam. Yeah, I would have liked to... When I went to Billund, I would have liked to have got on the train and gone to Copenhagen as well. I've never been to Copenhagen, but I didn't do it. I could have done it. Yeah. Not too far on the train. So they're the ramps for it, folks. We get loads of those. You get those all the time with the uh, Lego roads, the new road system, which I, I am a fan of the new road system, I have to say. Uh, we need curves, though, please, Lego. Thank you. Um, even though mine's going to be a grid system for my city, which, by the way, folks, is called Legondon. Um, it, is, it is happening. Right, let's pop those over there. Let's uh, pop these. That, give me a moment. Saying, do you building in Lego also? Only Lego or also alternatives? We mainly do Lego, but we we do quite like some of the alternative stuff. We just don't necessarily. Yeah, I, I don't do it. I'm I'm a I'm a pure Lego man. I am. Um, but I do I do a stream on Fridays called London Calling, and to be honest, that's a free for all. That when when I say that, um. I get people on there such as cabbage face bricks um I'm trying to think who else uh, solo brick builder of course Fooling. jang bricks yeah fooling with bricks jang bricks they come on and uh and they talk a little bit of kobe and even mega constructs as well and nicole's on there and nicole does a bit of blue bricks oh god yeah she does blue bricks as well mm. so and i gotta be honest folks blue bricks is really pushing out a lot of star trek but you know what? I, I again, if Lego did Star Trek, I would buy every single set. I'd be all in on that. Uh, Barry says he prefers the old road plates. Personally, he's, he's, he's old, school. old school. He's old, exactly. You know I mean? We both oh. said it. he's old school. Oh, I don't like change. Um, <laughs> I'm only joking, Baz. Um, so no, see, I think you'd appreciate change. the fact that you can use the new plates to be to fit smaller spaces. So when you've only got like shelving mm -hmm. and other stuff like that, the new plates fit. The old plates would always cause you problems. Yeah, they would. They, they, at some point, right, they are going to cause you problems. Uh, End talk. Honestly, there is nothing wrong in reheating rice, other than if you don't reheat it properly, right? You will get the worst. There's one of the worst things for giving you food poisoning. It, re yeah. it really is. It's a, it's a fact. Google it. Honestly, I kid you not um a cat have you ever been to um villain I'm, I'm i'm sure i, asked I thought we'd ask that and i don't think she had i don't think she has either no. um that would be good Mark. i think it would make sense she, graham takes all the blooming seats doesn't he it does yeah, yeah it's it not does. right cat. Needs it does. Has, as assistant editor you should be given the shot to go exactly exactly oh and i tell you what folks um I, I, you never know and you might hear about this soon i might have been lucky enough to even get to a special preview of the London Le Leicester Square store. Watch this space. Watch this space. So anyway, uh, I have, I have technically built this whole thing uh, now. So here we go. This is this is the uh, the crossing, as it were. I like that. Actually, looks like a real proper little bit of Lego City stuff going on there, it's doesn't quite it? Quite a nice build, that. To be fair, it's all right, isn't it? Do, 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 so do, what do, you can do, do, do with the new road plates is instantly get it up to that level and it's smooth and yeah, matches. Yeah. Well, let's get let's get a little car. One second. I can't hear any once I've got the headphones. Then scuff it up with some uh, rubber tires. He could have. He could have run the bus over it, but he's gone to there get it. Yeah. Talking of uh, Baza. Oh, he's getting there. He's getting a British car and keeping it keeping it old school. Uh, let's let's use the Ford Anglia, shall yeah. we? From Harry Potter. So come along here like so. That would be down. Obviously, you don't go across there. I like what they've done there with the white. That's a nice touch, Lego. Honestly, love it. Uh, and then, of course, uh, obviously, deadlift. You need to switch your barriers around, don't you? I suppose, so. yeah, it's on the wrong side, I suppose, isn't yeah. it? It is it's on the wrong side. But anyway, it's Lego. We, we'll just go with it. Uh, and then it just goes over there, like so, like so, like so, like so. Voila. It's I love it. Smooth as. It is really smooth. But you know what, right? The whole thing, the whole build, like this part here, they went up and above themselves with that. That is a really nice piece. Um, uh, would you drive down the center of the road, Greg? I quite often drive down the center of the road, uh, in honesty, Mark. Uh, come and drive if me for it, a If way. it's broken lines, then sometimes you do drive down the middle of the road to get yeah. better views as you're turning. As long as it's not a solid white, then technically you, you can do that. Can, as long as it's safe to do so. Yeah, as long as it's safe to do so, folks. Mirror signals maneuver. You know where it goes. 
uh, push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. And uh, <laughs> so anyway, let's have a quick brief fly through this set, right? Where else did we get them? So we got this, this great cross in here. Love it. 10 out of 10. Great little set. That really is. Right. What else did we get? Well, we didn't get the full danglia, but if you want to get a Wamping Willow set, you get that with it. Or was it Privet Drive? Who knows? But anyway, it's Harry Potter. You Comes get these. It, is both, it was both, actually. Yeah, you get these cool minifigures here. Love those three. Let me put it back a little bit so you can see. There you go. Then she's my favorite minifigure in the set. She looks like a female version of you. That's why. I know. Even the same. I like it so much. She's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And to Duplo die for. Legs. And Duplo legs. <laughs> and Duplo legs as well. Yeah. Because apparently I've got Duplo legs. Um, and it is the other three. I, I just wish he's, I don't say he's very well. I just wish his helmet was a different color. It needs to be sort of like a, I don't know. A, yeah, I don't know. And this guy here, if you had that, if your hair was that blonde, right, uh, you wouldn't wear lime green. I don't know what you call that pinny, I suppose, a lime green pinny. Like her, though, she's cool. I've got to show you this hairpiece, folks, because I built this whilst the video was running. But look at this hairpiece here. Jewel molded. I like that. I like that a lot. Actually. And Nicole, there is only one way, the correct way to drive on the road. You've got it wrong. Exactly. British standard. Um, Kat, Kat, Kat is saying, I haven't been to Billings yet. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Kat, I don't mean to put rub salt in the wound. Uh, I'm waiting for my editor to let me go. Talk to management. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Justice. Yeah, I did that if London Bridge Bricks texts you before a block's just happy. Just oh, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, I could get hold of, get hold of Graham and say, Graham, uh, uh, I can go over there. Actually, to be fair, Graham did ask me to take some pictures if I go to the Lego store in Dublin. So I did promise him that. Um, if I oh, did. yeah, he's fishing. You need to be on commission for that, though. Yeah, I do. do it for free. I'm quite cheap. I said, was the first, I said, for the first few pictures, just credit me. That's all. <laughs> yeah. That's all. I'm quite cheap, really, folks. Cheap like the budgie. Um, there you go. We've got the set number of this set. The set number of this set. This is 60335. Um, there we go. I've got it in the, in the description as well. There we go. This is a great little build. This is one of the first things you build in this set. And it's like, hello, this is pretty, pretty good. And this, this honestly, the whole yet, thing. You still haven't put Barry Sigfig the wrong way around on it. I'm surprised. I haven't. No, I, I, I will do that. I didn't want to, I didn't want to blur the lines of it with a customized fig in there. That was all. <laughs> didn't want to blur the line. And anyway, unless folks, you're a member and you, you join the Discord. Genuine you're Lego in Lego parts though is, um, Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, so you get this as well. If you look at my um, Instagram, folks, you would have seen me pushing this around with my train earlier on. So anyway, you get this great, uh, what do you call it? A cherry picker, isn't it? It's yeah. a cherry picker, uh, which is cool. And then what it has, it has this mechanism here that goes down like so. Hydro and it just goes, goes around the track. Yeah, it's really good. It's really, really cool. And it pu pulls that along with it as well. But one of the one of everybody's favourite things about this entire set is the bus. Look at that! It's a bit more of a coach than a bus, isn't it? Really? Got well, a more coach feel. I suppose. I suppose so. Yeah, I, I guess so. But it, but it, everything works. Everything is consistent with this set. Um, I can't wait to see some how people review this set because I think I, I genuinely like it. This this bus stroke coach whatever you want to call it folks going to the town center uh is it was a really really nice build i mean this set is 70 pounds honestly it's totally worth it it really is i am definitely considering buying another one uh if smith sell it or something like that i'll probably get it on discount or maybe buy it with some vip points you get four bits of track as well um but of course the main build itself you get all this great track as well remember the best yeah. great track exactly we well, get these pieces too um which is good if you're just maneuvering it around like huge huge flippers yeah they are like oh you, you was watching then was you i'll say i like it but there we go we've got so that is a i mean that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 41, 41, 41, it's 41, look at Nicole though, trying that is... to justify the fact she's bought it already, yeah, exactly, exactly, <laughs> uh, what's the set, what's the set number of the set, uh, we, we just said that, so 60335, uh, it's in the subjects, isn't it, in the subject, and by the way, folks, we've got 45 watching, if anyone just pops in, do give us a thumbs up, and 
We've got 78 votes. Let's try and get to 80 tonight, shall we? Um, so we've got the control center up here. Uh, we've got the cafe down here. We've got the waiting room here as well. Uh, we've got the ticket machine here. Uh, we've got a piece of uh, artwork there. And we've got a little birdie waiting on the track. It's really good. A it's bike a rack in it, that at the bottom. It's got a what, sorry? A, a bike, bike rack. rack there. Yep, exactly. We've got the little bike rack there. So we could, if we wanted to, take our bike here and then just pop it Care in there like so. It's like magic. It's Sweet magic. as. It is. It's a really well thought out set. So now, of course, we want to see how does it look next to a real train set? So this is where it's all going to go wrong. This is where it could all go wrong, folks. So anyway, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to maneuver this around. So let's see if I can just for a sec, just for a sec. Well, I'm not going to do that. Oh, if we can, I can. I think I can do it. Uh, let's just stop the cam on that momentarily. Here we go. Voila. Oh, it's just me. I'm still here. Don't worry. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is maneuver it round. So we'll see. Ah. We'll see well. I'll tell you what I'm going to do as well, Craig, just so I can hear everyone and what's going on out there, and I, especially because I need to hear you. I'm going to change over my headphones. So let's go to here and change my So this is where we might get a little bit of feedback. I don't know what, folks, but you want to see it with a train. So this is the sort of thing I'm going to need to do. So anyway, let's uh, do... I do, I do like that comment. Looks nice, the toilet house. The toilet, little toilet house. <laughs> the toilet house. He must really be very cool. posh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> here we go. So let's go for... Oh, oh, another dad jerk. Where does the Easter bunny eat breakfast? At IHOP. I don't get that one. What's an IHOP? I've got no idea. I don't think we have IHOPs. I don't think we do either. So anyway, uh, let's go for... Blimey, I think I think the Oops, we can't hear him now. He's disabled no, the mic. I was looking for something. I was like, oh, that must be it. And I was like, oh. you've got all patchy now. Can you change your mic? Uh, how's that? How does that sound? That's better. Okay, good stuff. No, I, I changed it back. Don't worry. Okay. I changed the wrong thing. So now I've got I've got no headphones. Um but I can I can hear you through the speakers of the PC. And what I can do, I can maneuver this around over there, you see, folks. So anyway, let's get moving. Here we go. American data. All right, okay. Let's see. Don't have them, sorry. And he's gone. It's like I'm calling all over again. <laughs> Except I'm still here. All oh, right. Okay. Who is the queen of school supplies? The ruler. Oh, God. You've definitely bought yourself a book. And Cabbage is not here again. So I definitely think it's an alternate account. It's, it's, it's jokes, jokes are terrible. They really are. Anyway, let's put the uh, let's put it back on again. We love them, really. There we Ooh, go. Oh, look at this. Look at this, eh? So, oh, Mills yeah. plates. Oh, yeah. Look, there's the Mills plates there. Let's pop this round here like that. It's almost professional look. It's almost laid out professionally. It's like somebody gave him advice. <laughs> See, that's uh, where, look, look at when we talked about go, changing the scale of our trains. Yeah. Look, can you look at the train now, front on in that shot with the DB5? You can see why that train needs to be wider. Yeah. Look at that. Look at those lights. Look at those lights as well. Look at them, folks. This is, this is real trains in action. Anyway, let's, let's have it go round. Uh, it might hit the webcam. Anyway, we'll soon find out. Where it goes. Oh, I said it misses it by a, a small margin. It really does. So anyway, there's, there's the train going around just to, just to prove it works anyway. So all we've got to do now is include a station. So we put the coach in first. We kind of build it up a little bit, shall we? Just to give you a sense of the scale. Oh, there'll be the You'd never have a, you'd never have a bus the same width as a train, look. See what I mean? You make that train an extra couple of studs mm -hmm. wide, definitely. I don't know where Aaron is when I need him, but he's not here. 
Aaron, yeah, he's my, he's my train guy. I can't really, I, I can't really hear you too well over there. Uh, little trains make a dickens of a noise, they do. <laughs> they are quite noisy. Oh, yeah, so just to... Um... Uh, Mr. Bricks is in the house. Hello, Tim. How are you? Are you on holiday, are you? Okay, so just to give you a, a, a demonstration, folks, of this uh, particular piece here, what we do is we will oh, pull that down him. like that, pull that down like that, and you'll see it working. This could end in disaster. And yes, that's the new DB5 speed champion in grey. Yeah. Sweet as. So, what could possibly go wrong? Here we go. So let's bring are it gonna, around. This are you going to caress it up, up to it? Oh, yeah. It's me, of course. Caress mm. is my second name. I'm back. We Here know it you comes. Back. Can it watch it? Oh, look at that. Choo -choo. Right. 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 There it goes. <laughs> Voila. Let's see if it goes all the way around with it. Like You'll see it coming in the top right hand corner soon. Oh, there it shit. is. <laughs> I don't even care. Awesome. Sunning oh, himself oh. in Belfast. Nice. I hope you have a good time, mate. Mm. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Sunny myself in Belfast. Mitty, um, yeah, mate. I hope you're having a great weekend there. Anyway, let's bring it around once more. And then we'll put implement the station. And I'm hoping the station was going to go on the left-hand side, but it might be a bit too big for that. But anyway, we'll soon find out. So let's pop that about there. Ooh. We'll leave him there. Okay. So Here's the real test. Okay, that's right. Who's the real? I want to know if these if these so passengers. Side, we'll simply fill it that side. If I do that, you'll be able to hear what I'm saying. Then, so if I can't if I can't fill it this side, this side ideally is where the station is going to go. If it doesn't go there, then we'll pop it on there. It's not going to go there. No, no. Yeah, it's not going to go there. See, I told you. <laughs> I tell you what, folks. If you modified it and took these parts off here. Yeah, you'd want rid of the ramps, wouldn't you? So it comes yeah. right up to the platform. Yeah, so I have to do that because ideally that's why I want it to go. And what I'm going to have to do as well uh, is cut mm. these plate, base plates to 24. So 24 studs across and then cut this way. And then the whole table will have them on there. So anyway. So you could put a hinge back to that, couldn't you? You could add, you could add a hinge to it so you can get make it modulised but get right in the back of it. Yeah, good point, actually. Yeah, good point. We'll have to discuss this. This could be one of the first modifications to the uh, uh, to it all. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll just bring this forward a bit because then that way uh, you can see how I'm going to connect it up. So up you go. So leave in there. Pop in there like that. And then what happens is this connects into it like that. Okay. Nice. It fits there quite nicely. Mm. There we go. How does that look? Yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. Good stuff. So there we go. So, so he's going to want, if he wants it that side, he's going to need a nerve of top bridge, isn't he, for people to get to it as well. You've got to think about that. It's all city yeah. planning. No, I know. That, that, that's going to be quite cool to do, that is. It's going to go this side, though. That's the thing. It will have to go this side. Um, but I can always bring the track over. I can take out one of the straights on the curves, you see. Uh, yes, we did here. Cut the words, base plate. We're all into base plate cutting. Yeah, yeah nothing wrong with that. I've been Lego, to the Lego, Lego do it. Yeah, they do it, Bill. Uh, they did, um, they, for the Dot's house, they did it there as well. Let's pop all these on there. No, I'm cutting go. base plates, cat. Lego do it, Lego do it. It's all cutting above board. Lego pieces, yeah. I've seen it in the factory in the big sheets. It's not in 32 or 48 or 16 by 32 then. It's humongous. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's the station. The question is, can the train, can the train enter and depart 
on the platform? Now that is the question. So, here we go. Can you imagine if you split it real fast and it crashed now? Well, All that set up. That. All that set up. <laughs> Just fire your people. Whoa, look at that go. Oh, look yeah. Choo-choo. Come in again. <laughs> This looks very... Go even faster now, shall we? Yeah, he's doing his go, speeding up now, look. Look at that. He's not as reckless as you with the controls. One more pass. I am not reckless. I think you are. There it is. I'll tell you what I'll do. And everybody buckle up, and this thing's going to go speed. Oh, that's going like that. I, I'll, um, I'll, put, I'll bring the camera down so you can see it really close yeah. up. Stop popping the table. So let's... Stop it around there. What I'm going to do is just just change the the stand on the camera, and you guys will see the cam see the train coming right in at you. It'll only take a second. The train's moving, cat, so it's definitely faster than British Rail. <laughs> yeah, uh, mm. my my geezers don't strike. They're not allowed to join a union. My minifigs. Uh, just saying. <laughs> Buckle up. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's just uh, da, 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 do that, right? Keep 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 the chat lively for me, mate. I'm just going to change the camera angle. Yeah, I'm also keeping. I'm keeping an eye. Are you keeping an eye on the chat? Yeah. Is there anything interesting in the chat? No. Nope. Give me Robert saying. Give me Robert saying. Look, it was good. It looked so good this set, and it was sold out. It's local Smith toys. You see, it's good because it's sold out. Aren't they on strike? Yes, I think they are going to go on strike again. Mark saying hi, Nia, mate. Um, other than Mark cutting base plates, cat's faded, so we've lost air for a little bit. We'll we'll send somebody around to revive it. We'll get one of her Labradors to lick her face. That'll bring her back. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah Mitty's saying what could possibly go wrong. He's obviously watched too many of Greg's streams, if that's your first thought. Right, okay, here we go then. So, go, are we ready? Are we ready? Start the cab. Ooh. There we go. That's a, that's a lot better, isn't it? Mate? Plus, yeah. that, isn't it? Like this definitely could go wrong. No, yeah. so, so, so now you see it almost from the minifigure height, folks. The minifigure height. So, let's pop that on. I there. can feel him getting a GoPro and sticking it on his train next, can't you? Yeah. What was that? What was that? We were talking about doing it. I've got a GoPro with the draw down there. We could do that. Yeah. Anyway, let's let's see if we can get it working. Here we go. Here it comes. Here it comes. Choo choo. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Super close. Super close. <laughs> yeah. Labradors to the rescue. Cat back who says Labrador. Go. Let's, let's get the lights on, shall we? Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Beep, beep. <laughs> what do you think of that, folks? That's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. I watched a bit on the guys. Love it. Oh, oh, I think it's gonna Oh, oh it's derailing. Yeah, that's that's true, Mark. Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, we do use like a uh, usually get an old brick, a long old brick to help guide the cut. But it's a lot easier than you think it is. There we go. Especially when you have to cut like I have at forty five degrees. No. Yeah, forty five degrees. That's so cool. We're British. Yeah. 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 The food's now go, on Lego train. Yeah. As they say, is that? But can the can the can those doors, those new doors, those double doors, can they actually get out? Will they open and allow for them to get on to the? Is that that'll be your issue with why they put the extended pieces? Minifigure just telling the Mark what he's done. The thing. Put James, put James Bond on the bus, shall we? <laughs> And bond on the bus. By the way, Dad's my dad's talking with Greg, and then I'm just keeping an eye on his yeah, chat. Yeah, they yeah, definitely open up. So, are they the right level for the platform? Mm, not really, no. Yeah, you see, <laughs> you need the platform. Is it? You're, mm. It's exactly three, three, three studs from the platform. It is because the doors have to open, so then there's going to be a gap that they've got to cross to allow the doors to swing open. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Aren't they on strike? Need some better thinking, Lego. Yeah, they do. But uh, we can, we can, we can work it out. We can work it Lego, out. You, well, you're gonna have to kind of like that's why I said if you change the scale, you're almost gonna have to try and raise 
the doors a little bit for the platform. It's not, yeah, it's not as straightforward. Yeah. Robin is as Robin and Bricks has tied with this. Oh, is he? Oh, okay, I see. All right, folks, get your last votes in on the survey. We're up to 59 thumbs up, so thank you so much for that. And I think we're just about done and dusted, I think. Yeah. My, my, my belly's rumbling, so it must be coming up to dinner time. Um, and my daughter's pestering me, so. Exactly, exactly, my friends. Well, anyway, look, um, Brick Stage Pass, right? Anything coming up from you in the next week or so, my friend? Um there'll be there'll be thursday night will be some assembly required so, where are we saturday um uh, i'm gonna potentially do some stuff during the week i have no idea uh, i'm too Me hungry too. to think straight i'm back to work next week i don't want to go um, you go back and i get and i i come off and wait oh yeah i'm wednesday i'm lego star in i'm i'm off work from wednesday you go back and i i go on holiday oh no how long are you off for uh till the 15th so it's oh. quite a good chunk Oh, that is a good chunk. Yeah, that's lovely. That is. Yeah, you, I've had two weeks off. Now you're having two weeks off. Uh, thank you, everyone, for voting in the uh, in the survey. I'm just going to check that out. I just simple question, folks. Uh, yes and no answers. Would you like Lego to make more train orientated sets? A two percent, unsurprisingly, uh, said yes, uh, and seventeen percent said no. You like to give me more? It's a bit odd. But anyway, what can I say? 82. And the odd thing being, uh, there's one. There's always 1%. It's almost, it's almost like uh, YouTube takes that last 1%. It goes, uh, give me more bricks. Was, uh, it was nice to listen to your stream. We'll watch future streams, but I have to walk the Labrador now. Good night. Good night to you, sir. Take care. Um, and thank you, everybody else, for tuning in tonight as well. Uh, I'd just like to say happy birthday to Naomi for tomorrow. Naomi, I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, and I hope, I hope Daddy Claus uh, gets you everything you want. <laughs> now, well, I, I will I hardly see you then from then onwards. Well, actually, you're too busy doing your own thing and stop pestering me. Oh, very cute. Anyway, well, the train is now departing, my friends, and so am I. I just want to say thank you to every one of you who log, logged in and chatted away with us tonight we've got minark out there we've got cat colors we've got mitty uh Mitty's over in belfast at the moment he really is snap to grip bricks he's all the way over there in good old canada uh give me more bricks as well he's a he's a new european friend uh anna rays as well anna thank you for probably the worst jokes ever on a live stream but i do appreciate it all you do get the brick he's in the house two indie kids he'll be watching this back hopefully you had a nice dinner my friend uh minifig who guys for being out there minark as always my friend well that train seems to be slowing down let's speed it up a little bit shall we uh we had n talk out there as well uh good to see you my friend and was there anyone else there was of course papa's bricks and fooling with bricks and cat colors to name but a few take care folks look after yourselves look after each other and lego and lego you know what? It's a wonderful thing. And each and every one of you wonderful people are too. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, folks. Stay safe. And I'll see you on Friday for London Calling. One, three, one. Cheerio. Mm -hmm.